four, three, two. Hello, everybody. It is Friday. We Hello. are here. Hello, Ela. Hello. Hello, everybody. A very half-hearted uh, applause Woo! today. Woo! Now we go. That's what I'm there talking about. There we go. About. That's how I'm feeling <laughs> energized. Um, thank you for being here. It is October 20th. Halloween. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid it's right up. Yeah. You can feel it in the air. Yeah. Parents. It's the biggest day of the year. God, I remember being a kid, and Halloween is just such a special day. <laughs> and, you know, it's nice to be able to live vicariously mm -hmm. through the kids. Because I, I can buy candy now. Right. I can buy, <laughs> I can buy candy anytime I want. What? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I can buy it right, right. now. With I your get, job, you can also wear a costume whenever you want, too. True. Yeah. I, there's no rules, baby. I'm Halloween <laughs> every day. <laughs> That's awesome. That's a life hack. Yo, uh, Sam, Instacart some family or some uh, bite-sized uh, Snickers, please. Say <laughs> less. I will do it right now. <laughs> and I'm a bob kidding. wig. I, I'm kidding. I don't need those. <laughs> Wait, really? No. So no. you don't want me to? No, I don't. Mm. Thank you. Breaking hearts. I just, I, I, I know, I know, I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, um, so, what else is going on? We have a great show planned today. Really fun stuff on the horizon. Mm -hmm. um, we have two great segments planned today. One of them is a continuation of the artistic expression of us on the crew here at the H Street Podcast. You know... I am a muse of sorts, I accept that, and <laughs> yeah. especially to all these guys who come into work every day, they look up to me, they, <laughs> they idolize me in you. some cases, and, yep. yeah. I mean, how would you, how would you describe your feelings for me, uh, AB? Oh, man, it was tough. It was tough. Hey, there, there was so much to say, and we only could, you know, write 14 lines, so. 14 lines, which is the traditional length of a sonnet. Right. Although I, I would be impressed if anyone actually took on the task of writing a Shakespearean sonnet. That would be cool. But no pressure. Also no pressure. I didn't work with Scansion, sadly. Yeah. I didn't implement that. So each crew member uh, wrote me a 14 line or less poem. 14 pages. That's right. 14 <laughs> lines. lines. We should say uh, Zach isn't here today. Yeah. Because otherwise already that already would have been played. Yeah. Already. So we're going to have to fill in just verbally with all the sound Oh no. He's not here today. Damn. Man. But he's in our head. Always. I gotta not let him go off. I need, I need to not give him days <laughs> off. <laughs> not cool. Uh, so, I'm going to read them off and then guess mm. whose poem mm -hmm. is whose. And clearly, and you're so good at my it. track record is not good. <laughs> <laughs> but I am, poetry is my uh, college major. Right. Uh, yeah. It should be your area yeah. of expertise. When I met Ethan, he was writing poems. Whoa. Well, you know, Dude, my, what? For listen, Ela? listen. <laughs> the reason I chose poetry <laughs> mm -hmm. is because, yeah. <laughs> and I was proven right, it's a subset of the literature major and it's the easiest fucking major <laughs> at the whole damn school. Hell yeah. Yes. And I'm happy to, tell, to report to all you guys out there, maybe some of you guys at the, uh, the later stages of your high school experience, if you're listening or... <laughs> But if you go to UCSC, <laughs> do creative writing. You will not do, ever do any work at all. Ever, Don't right? teach them that. <laughs> then you almost fail out too. I failed out. Yeah, I did fail out, and then I had to go to com I had to go to community <laughs> college for a year, and then I f I did finish. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. And then you became a millionaire. There you go. What does that there tell you? Good. Thank you, Cameron. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> Appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, the the poetry major there was so fucking. S I mean, listen, how do you teach poetry? It's like you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Like you it's can workshop like me going to art school. How do you teach art? It's kind of like. Mm. I mean, my my poetry teacher, who was an accomplished poet and a really great, terrific guy. Yeah. But at the same time, it's like you can't read someone's poem and be like, "You didn't do this right." Right. Unless it's like very specific, it's very subjective. But for the most part, all we did was just like have a topic, write something, and then just workshop. And then for our our final, you know, thesis, dissertation, yeah. whatever, we just literally just made a book of all the poems we read. I bound it with tape. I have it. And I still you got have a it. B plus. It looks 
<laughs> it looks like like Ethan is describing. It's paper and tape. It, nice. It's and because well, we were supposed to do this. Did whole, others do like a book? Yeah, yeah. That we were supposed to do like a really. We're beautiful, so different as students. I took everything so seriously. <laughs> my objective at that, and that, um... I was valedictorian. Yeah, what? I remember yeah. I went to your... What? Celebration. Whoa, like, wait a minute. I'm honored. Yes. Yeah, she was honored. I was there. I think that's new Ela lore. Oh. I don't think that's ever been revealed. She's a... She That you oh shit. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> okay. I'm just doing you a favor. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> so you were saying that um So you're going at a later <laughs> age to college. <laughs> you go you because you do the army, you go at a later age. Yes. Which actually is a really good point. You're more mature. Yes. Like when I went to school, I was like seven or 18 or something and like yeah. you are such an irresponsible dumb little fucking piece of shit then like if I went in my mid-20s I would definitely have learned a lot more mm -hmm. that's what I did I delayed oh, you did. I delayed Crazy. going to college yeah I didn't go to you college straight after high school. right then I mean that wasn't necessarily <laughs> I, I you went to community college is that what you I did? wouldn't characterize <laughs> it that way uh, I did a couple community college classes but for the most part I just I, I started working right after high school mm -hmm. and then I decided to go back to college around I think I was 23 so like you're saying like mid 20s is when interesting I went. yeah there were people that did that in our like in the dorms and we thought they were such weirdos though because they looked <laughs> so old not like 24 but some of them were like pushing 30 uh -huh. in the dorms and we're like yeah I didn't live in a dorm. you're weird, I, I had my bro. own place <laughs> yeah. but they're not so they're weird. just trying to live their life <laughs> So weird that you don't want to pay like a hundred thousand dollars to just go get drunk and <laughs> right, <laughs> right. <sighs> I'm not gonna lie though, having a degree in English literature did help me a lot when yeah. I moved to Israel, getting mm -hmm. a professional job. Hmm. Yeah, like a lot. He right, immediately I guess had like sense. job opportunities <clears throat> just because of that. Right. Which was weird because in America, I was like, I'm never going to fucking gonna get, get a, a real job. job. <laughs> yeah. I am going to work. I'm going to be a waiter. I was waiting and you know, listen. For a lot of people, that's as that's a great job for yeah. for for people that so many of us. That's that's like kind of the best paying job that you're gonna find. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and so, because there was jobs that came up in Santa Cruz. You remember that one? They were looking for like a junior level marketer. That I was like, yeah. I was like, okay, and it was paying like thirty or forty thousand dollars a year. I was like, this is gonna change our life. Right. I get this. Mm -hmm. That is so insane. So much insane money. And um, I was like gushing over this resume and cover letter, and I was just like agonizing over it. <laughs> Sent it to him. Waited a week. I hadn't heard anything. And then I called him just to check in. You know, like a good applicant. And they go, man, we got so many applications for that. We probably didn't even read yours. Like, it's sorry. It's just, mm -hmm. unless you have like a lot of experience, we didn't even look at your yeah. app. Cause they're, and, and the ad, the posting was for entry level right. junior. <laughs> yeah, but have lots of experience. That's it was crazy. so sad. Living in Santa Cruz, that was the hardest part actually. Cause I, in Israel, it's like, if you want to get a job, you can literally go to a restaurant and start working the next day. Pretty much, that's what I was used to. And so when I got there, I was like, assuming I'll be able to work, no problem. And then I couldn't find any job, like nothing. And you just walk into like an ice cream shop and they have a pile. That's literally what happened. Yeah, you they have a, a pile store. of applications. They Either, don't, they're like, there's no point for you to even fill an application. Either went to a <laughs> yogurt store and she's like, hey, are you guys hiring? He's like, you can fill out an application, but I have a stack of them like yeah. this thick. <laughs> and I, it, Took forever. To, I, I tell. Uh, at the end, I did find something, but it was like forever. It was a miracle. Yeah. You found like a a good like. Uh, I was a nanny. A nanny gig, yeah. But like, I think that was a Santa Cruz thing because the mm -hmm. there's it's a relatively small town with a ton of college students. Right. So right. it's just like too many young people looking for entry level jobs. Yeah, it's sense. just the worst place to yeah, be. Yeah, Santa Cruz is tiny. It's like weird that right. there's a big college there. I mean, really shit, half the yeah. population is probably college kids. Right. Yeah. So, I, I think in most, it's not always as bad as that, but it was pretty, it was pretty sad, pretty desperate times there. 
But what? Why am I talking? What am I, I talking? I don't about? know. <laughs> well, we were oh, ta- you were setting up the poetry thing. Poems. So anyway, uh, the crew will, has written me poems, <laughs> and uh, it's going to be really a beautiful, touching experience for all of us. Mm-hmm. And I will guess with stunning accuracy um, who wrote which one. Also, another segment we have planned, a ton of uh, which is going to be a ton of fun. There's been a great debate happening, not just yeah. here, but around the world. It's a time <laughs> debate. I would love to chime in on that one. The mm-hmm. dishwasher. Yeah. There are two camps of thinking. Huh? Do you pre-wash the dishes or do you not pre-wash the dishes? Now, from our early, uh, you know, uh, polling. Yeah. The vast majority of people are saying you must pre-wash. Mm-hmm. That's me. But we've conducted experiments, and also Fair, we have experiments singular. I guess we should say. <laughs> well, was there one more than one dish washed? <laughs> there, uh, true. Right. Okay. Then yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and we also have an expert calling in, Tom Ward, <laughs> who was a appliance uh, professional, also uh, well versed in. Mm-hmm. Dishwashing machines is what right. call Oh, yeah. Oh, I yeah. hear he also does interviews sometimes. <laughs> he's, I don't but know what he's and, better but at. But first and foremost, yeah. dishwasher sales. he's better at. If it's di- pre-wash, dishwash, or whatever. Let's do a, I'll, we'll do a poll but when we start that segment, because I'm curious where the people are, and then after we finish where they are, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, wow, so much fun things to uh, do today. My goodness. Uh, today's episode is sponsored by Nobody. Thank you. <laughs> That's not quite true, though. It is sponsored by viewers like you. Mm-hmm. Uh, Our wonderful members yes. who support us, mm-hmm. who lift us up, who right. say we value what you do, and we want you to continue doing it. Mm-hmm. We see you, and we love you, and we appreciate you. Thanks so much to our members. And, of course... I appreciate all of our watchers. You are all my mm-hmm. my children. I love you all. <laughs> They're your right. children? They're my children. <laughs> I love you all the same. But I like the people that pay a little more than you. <laughs> <laughs> a little sewage smell? CPA? I didn't sh- I did not clog smell. the toilet. I don't smell anything. Okay. Maybe I'll smell maybe I have to have a, a seizure. Your upper lip. <laughs> <laughs> um. Christy says, in lieu of it being spooky season, have y'all watched the Reckless Ben video on McKinney Manor? I haven't. I haven't. Uh, but I am aware of the McKinney Manor thing. I I've watched videos about him. I've seen the videos he makes. That dude is sick. The Scientology series is really good. Oh yeah, that's how I found then, out. Then my Discord will not start. Uh, Thank you. Take a look. I can take a look. <clears throat> so um, also, I'll just give a shout out to Teddy Fresh Classics. Head on over there. Bum, 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 dun, dun, bum, bum, bum. Zach, yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Check Check out this plum pocket tea. Guess how much this pocket tea costs? Twenty-two freaking dollars. Yeah. A what? beautiful, perfect <laughs> weight. <laughs> engineered it is going to fit and feel amazing we have beautiful colors in the face of uh inflation Mm. and stagnant salaries Mm -hmm. we said our prices we're going to make a collection where the prices don't go up Mm -hmm. they go down wow and so we eat into our margin and we have cost effectively as possible brought to you a very special collection the classics uh, everything here is basically as good priced as humanly possible, and the quality is fantastic. It's a perfect thing for you and your loved ones. Thank you to Classics. Thank you to TeddyFresh.com. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this is an important announcement. Mm. What you got? I want to tell you, please. Actually, here, let me do it with him because that's fun. Today oh. is <laughs> the cutoff day. Mm. Please, after the 20th of October, <laughs> mm. more fan mail. So true. Wow. So, so true. It's important that we acknowledge um, Ringo Remembrance Day. He's we still alive. We actually need this day. It's Peace and Love Day. It's his birthday. When is his birthday? Uh, Ringo. The Peace birthday. and Love Day is his birthday every year. Yeah, because there's enough. You're right. July 7th oh. is, uh, I believe, Peace and Love Day. He does a video every year where he goes, 
I for my I birthday, know. I want everybody at 12 o'clock <laughs> at the same time all around the world to go outside and say peace and God, Got love. it. I have seen that, yeah. right? <laughs> Such a guy. Such a great guy. Legend. Dude's like 80 and he looks like healthier than me. It's all that peace and love, I guess. <clears throat> right. And money. Well, talking about <laughs> how you look, you actually slayed today. And Thank you, Elo. <clears throat> I mean, people always want me to do a fit check, but maybe you should do a fit check. I mean, it's just the shirt. It's just a nice <laughs> shirt. This is a shirt I bought three years ago. I found, I saw it on sale on Essence, which is yeah. like a designer. It's like a Banana Republic outlet or something. It, <laughs> listen, it's it's Take like a room. designer uh, store, but every yeah. year they have like crazy discounts. Mm -hmm. So I always go there at the yeah. end of the year. This was like 75% off. I got it for like $200 and it's like a thousand. Yeah. I said, fuck yeah. Ooh. This is an off-white shirt. It mm. is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And I have never worn it. <laughs> because I've always been, since the moment I got it, too fat. This is the <laughs> first time I have ever worn this shirt in three years. <laughs> Woo! Let's go, dude. Let's go. Beautiful shirt. Wow. With the tattoo as well? Yeah. Oh, ho, ho, ho. high beast alert. Sheesh. In the most painful spot, too. We're stepping into a new era. Mm, that yeah. tattoo must have hurt. I'm gonna get a tattoo. I'm gonna thought to that tattoo looks painful. I'm gonna do a face tat next, man. What should I tat on my face? King of the Jews. <laughs> oh my god. Star David on my face. He's in love. He's in love. <laughs> anyway. So thank you, Ela. You're welcome. Let's let's uh, honor Ringo, though. It's not about me. It's not about anything else. Let's mm -hmm. honor. Today is October twentieth, a hollow day here in the HD podcast. <laughs> this is a serious <laughs> message to everybody, to everybody who watching, watching my update right, right now. Peace, Peace and love. Peace, Peace and love. I, I want to tell you, please. After the 20th of October, do not send fan mail to any address that you have. Nothing will be signed after the 20th of October. If it's got a date on the envelope, it's going to be tossed. I'm warning you with peace and love, I have too much to do. So no, no more, more fan, fan mail. mail. Thank, thank you, you, thank you. And no objects, objects to, be to be signed. signed. Nothing. <laughs> uh, anyway, peace and <laughs> love, peace and love. love. Uh, wow. Love it. Well done. Special day. Obviously not perfect, but pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. But God, that speech is just so iconic. <laughs> <laughs> the first time anyone was warned with peace and love, and that changed the world. I am warning you right. with peace and love. It's going to be tossed. <laughs> oh, he's so fun. I love Ringo, man. So we honor him, of course. So. Ringo's in chat. Way. <laughs> yeah, we have a Ringo uh, emoji on the channel. Oh, yes, we uh, do. Ringo's in chat, people. It's October 20th. Thank you, thank you. Uh, we got all kinds of fun stuff at the top of the show here. What time is Tom calling in? I know he has a hard out. Uh, 2.15, which is in about uh, 20 minutes. Okay. So Tom Ward, of course, we are working around his schedule. He's a busy man. He's got <laughs> interviews. He's mm -hmm. got mm -hmm. a lot going on. And Celebrities. So. Yeah. He's a big deal. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> so let's see. How about some Gatsby Karen gets arrested? Sure. Doesn't sound too bad. Karen got locked up when the cart is crazy. Oh, this, this is really, really special. <laughs> let, me, let me go back here for you guys to enjoy. What kind of America is this? Yes, right on Facebook, they're arresting me for starting to pay for stuff for my daughter. What? It's at Walmart, oh too. It makes it all better. That's amazing. Did, it's like, how did she even know someone was recording? It looks like a bit. Like, she what knows. What kind of America is this? Yes, put it on Facebook, they're arresting me for starting to pay for stuff for my daughter. <laughs> what? Put is she cuffed? Facebook. They cuffed her. Wow. <laughs> Wait, how is she operating? I think the other officer. They're pushing it. Oh, they're pushing it. <laughs> they or, pushing or he's, it? or is he pushing the throttle? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> They're like, you're too dangerous to be holding this. You're a danger to yourself, <laughs> So wait, what did she do then? I wonder. Probably she just was trying to get something for her daughter. It sounds running like. running through aisles. Yeah. She has a lot of shit in her. Tossing the front. over stuff. Just running over LGBTQ stands and stuff. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> what kind of America is this? Yes, put it on Facebook. They're arresting me for drugs. This is actually, ironically, the most American right. possible screen capture of all time. Yeah, it really is. Actually. I mean, let's let's <laughs> examine this. You have a Karen in a in a mobility scooter mm -hmm. with a t at Walmart. <laughs> right. She's got tons of uh, clothing in her cart. There, she's being escorted out by police, who are, of course, you know, a cab. <laughs> and that, and I want to remind people when I say a cab, I am talking about Paw Patrol. Right. <laughs> Included. You know, it's all or nothing. Uh -huh. Um. I don't know. I mean, sheesh. What's more? What? What could be more? Less American. What more American? <laughs> 35 cents? What are they selling for 35 cents at Walmart? <laughs> what can you buy for 35 cents? A bucket? Whoa. What is this? Interesting. Good question. A binder, I think. A binder? Uh, Dude. That's a crazy good deal. That's why they're the fucking best <laughs> in the biz. America number one. 30. Five 35 cent. cents, dude. <laughs> That's insane. Also, this is like the scooter of the store because I see another one. Oh, shit. Good observation. It's not hers. Mm. Wow. So she refused to stand up. She didn't bring her own scooter. She walked in. <laughs> she used their scooter. Oh, this is this is good. This is good. <laughs> One more time uh, with peace and love. Yes, put it on Facebook. They're arresting me for trying to pay for stuff for my <laughs> What? Put it on Facebook, everybody. <laughs> I was trying to find some info about the arrest, but uh, coming up empty so far. There's a lot of arrests at Walmart, it turns out. So the, the news is a little flooded. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you know, Walmart houses like a quarter of the population at any given time. Right. Every I think people, women have birth in Walmart. Yeah, I'm sure all the time. that's happened. Mm -hmm. That gives a whole new meaning to spill on aisle four. Oh, um... Our, our good friend Jeremy from the quartering right, gave birth to a he's turd. He's kidding. <laughs> yeah, he gave birth to a turd right on the floor. His his awesome. water broke. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All kinds of spillage <laughs> happening. <laughs> and he just let it loose, baby. <laughs> Unleashed. Yeah, uh, yesterday, or not, not yesterday, Wednesday, <clears throat> we, oh, here we go. Actually, um, what U.S. woman gives birth to baby girl in Walmart. There you go. There it is. Wrong. Congratulations. Gives ba uh, ba her. baby girl in Walmart toilet paper aisle. Okay. <laughs> Interesting information. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> Hopefully it was a really absorbent aisle. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a random uh, uh, Missouri woman sexually gave birth to a baby girl while surrounded by bare shelves and coronavirus fearing shoppers. Uh, oh, thank you for painting this, uh, this uh, stage for me. Is this a different one, AB? It is. Mm-hmm. Wow, <laughs> lots of birds. That was probably like the height of COVID when the shelves were empty. Yeah. You'd be a little bit worried about germs giving birth on the yeah. floor, huh? <laughs> You'd be so paranoid. Um, father gives birth in checkout line? Lady, you really? don't need to pay for that. <laughs> 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 An unnamed woman in Utah walked into Walmart to buy a few items and walked out with a Baby. Oh my God. She gave birth at register 11. Why do we need to know the <laughs> register number? <laughs> Which has now dubbed register baby by store associates. She went oh. to the register. Uh, she was in distress on her knees, holding her stomach. The store manager told her to push. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> just, be just before she went into full labor, she insisted on paying for her merchandise. Oh my God. But we weren't really wow. interested in taking her money at that point. But she insisted. It wasn't yeah. like she was like, okay, let's get this baby and I'll pay. They took her money. She paid. Yeah. There it is. So, wow. hey. There's another one? There's a ton. This, this article is titled, People Cheer After a Woman Gives Birth at Missouri Walmart. <laughs> yeah. This is a fucking <laughs> another article of a woman giving birth at... I Walmart think, in Missouri. I think now we need we know what I need to do for the third baby. Well, you were looking for good hospitals. I mean, <laughs> you, you're looking for a bargain. Look, go to Walmart. Aisle 11. Apparently, aisle 11 is really good support system there for you. <laughs> Customers cheered at Walmart in Missouri after a woman gave birth to a baby in the store's toilet. Oh, this is the same one. Mm. So there was just a mob cheering her on, oh watching. My God. Customers encouraged the women throughout their birth and cheered as she and the baby were taken away in an ambulance. 
Bro, what? I've seen birth. It's pretty... It's not for the faint of heart. I can't imagine people lining up. Maybe they're cheering that shit the fuck out of there. Like, hey, get out! Yeah, <laughs> get that shit out of here. It's COVID. Uh, but I guess, hey, that's a beautiful human uh, testament to humanity. We love each other. <laughs> There's a scooter, MAGA. Karen. Is this the same lady? Oh, another angle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a longer version of the same video. Mm. Yo, oh, extended version. Wow. Okay, this is, this is actually huge. <laughs> this is huge. So let's see. This is hopefully give us some intel. It's a it's a mask thing. Oh, that's what it is. It's a she's mask. She's a thing. three percenter. That's why it's what I'm here. She's part she's part of a uh, uh, armed militia. Mm. <laughs> that's according crazy. to her. I, I love that she, she said I right re in. I refuse to sit down. <laughs> <You're not>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm standing up for what's right. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I think three percenter might mean something else. What does that mean, Dan? It's a like a white nationalist thing, or like a, it, a three percenter militia. Yeah, because I'm reading that. You said I'm an infidel. What does that mean? Three percenters, a militia movement which supports the idea of a small number of dedicated patriots protecting the America from government tyranny. Mm. Hell yeah. Okay, because I thought maybe she was talking about diabetes, and I don't mean that like. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't mean that as like because obviously diabetes is a serious <laughs> condition. <laughs> Well, it says I, 3%. I thought it was that she was, like, ill. Yeah, too. part yeah. of the 3%. Yeah. I can't wear a mask because I don't breathe so good with right. the diabetes. Okay, well... <laughs> You're not alone. I but actually, I, I don't think that's what she was talking about because I fact-checked it. 11.3% of, actually, the population mm. has diabetes. That's pretty... That's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I gotta invest in insulin. And McDonald's. Invest mm -hmm. in insulin. Can we get a McDonald's hamburger, please? And finally, with the insulin cooked into the patty. <laughs> you know, I refuse. Will that work that yeah, way? Can you it, like, eat it? I don't know, but the technology. Shop. That's it. You know. I see. Yeah, I refuse to believe that we do not, as a country, have the technology to to uh, inject insulin into French fries. I mean, if anybody can figure it out, it's going to be McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that'd be fucking... <laughs> okay, let's watch this, let's watch this. Sorry, yeah, not, not diabetes. You said I'm an infidel? Yeah. Yeah, what does that mean? What does she mean by that? Oh, she's a one percenter too. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> she's one percent of the three percent or one percent How can you be both? <laughs> I guess. Why did she say she's an infidel? That one's... That one's lost. A person who does not believe in religion or adheres to a religious or other. Yeah, I mean that's just like the. Like, she doesn't. Maybe that's another group. Yeah. That she's. She's in a lot of. Part of. She's got groups. I don't know. Okay, infidel. That equals four percent, and I don't. Whoa, she's doing that. Wait, it doesn't work like that. No, this is my America, and I'm taking it back. We're gonna have Trump in office. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> she just said we're gonna have Trump in our best. That's how musicals start. Like, are you kidding? Does someone want to sit at the sound? Because I have requests, and maybe somebody. There. I, I mean, I would. I would love to. All right, just no flockas. That's fine. Zach, you know what I mean. I, I don't want to. You know, Zach is. He can't deal with the flockas. It just. I it figured hurts. there's there was a reason I wasn't asked. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I need it. to hear someone to play America. Uh. Mm -hmm. Actually, hold on. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. That's America. That's America to me. Hitting it a cappella. a cappella. That's America. Ooh. <laughs> Whoa! Oh yeah! Right, right. Baby, impressive. she's got some pipes! Hold on. Wow. Hold the phone. We need to send this to Zach. How have we not seen this during COVID? No clue. Her diaphragm is impeccable. Like, that was really great. That was a gorge. It well, was gorgeous. I wonder and what, what, Zach to soundbite this. I'll what, make a what note. What percentage is she in, I note. wonder, in, for like vocals, you know? 
It could be in another group. She's one or three, but if you add them, it could be, it's it could four. Be four. <laughs> it could be four. Yeah. Man, that was pretty on a grande. It was perfect. No, stop! No! I can take care of the power of Don't touch me or I'll charge you! I'll charge you! She just threatened to charge her on her scooter. I want her to. I want to see it so bad. Holy shit. She said, don't touch me or I'll charge you. She'll do it. She'll sing while it happens. We'll hit that high C. <laughs> I want to say these poor workers yeah. during COVID having to deal with these psychos. I wow. cannot imagine. What a shit job. Mm -hmm. Holy crap, man. <laughs> this is from the website KarenLivesMatter.com. <laughs> 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 I think Trump just wow. found his new VP. Wow. Beautiful. <laughs> My God. That was really something, I gotta yeah. say. This is from three months ago. Okay, so maybe it's not. It must be older. The mask. Nobody wears a mask anymore. No, it's definitely from COVID era. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There it is, guys. Uh, Walmart, you know. Walmart is happening. It's been happening. Mm. The people that own Walmart are one of the richest families in the world. Mm. They just fucking... The Waltons. The Waltons? <laughs> no way. Are you serious? <laughs> no, that, yeah, no, it is. It is. That's, that's, where, that's what the wall comes from. Oh, uh, <laughs> Walmart. Yeah. The, look up the Walton family. Wow. <laughs> Why is that so funny? <laughs> it's Walmart. <laughs> it's Walmart, Walton. Yeah. Cool it. It's the Waltons. <laughs> Walmart net worth. Do you want to know how much these fucking people are worth? Get, how, these people, I'll tell you how much they're worth from selling 35 cent binders. <laughs> right. They're estimated to be worth $238 billion. Wow. <laughs> God bless their heart. <laughs> wow. The Walton family is followed by the Mars family. Oh, the Mars family? They just Whoa. made a candy Walmart? bar? These people made a candy bar and they're worth 160 billion. Wow. People don't even like Mars that Yeah, Mars much. is not that It's big, big in Europe. It's massive in Mars Europe. is also like just Mars the... Bars? It's not just the bars. They own a bunch of the candy bars. <laughs> they own Snickers? Snickers. Yeah. Snickers, Snickers which yeah. you just asked. Hold on. These candy bars, what I'm hearing, are overpriced. Oh, yeah. No, we need to, to slash the prices on these candy bars. And frankly, Walmart... What I'm seeing is we need to slash these prices even deeper. Yeah. 35 cents. They're overcharging. 10 cents. <laughs> and they're definitely overcharging <laughs> at Walmart. <laughs> I mean, 238 billy. Uh, all right. Uh, let's get uh, Tom is on the phone. Let's get to Tommy boy. Because okay. We don't have all, all day with him. Uh, he is all busy. Right. All right. One second. Let me get him lined up. He is busy, man. Hey now, ladies and gentlemen. There he is. Hey Welcome now. To the show. Uh, hey now. Hey peace now. And peace and love. Peace, peace and love. Peace and love. Yeah. Peace and love. Tom Ward. Give it up for Tom Ward. <laughs> Tom, you know that. You know that today is October twentieth, right? I saw you, man. I am a huge Howard fan. Do, oh. Does the H three crew get the Howard reference? Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yes. So, uh, peace and love. No more fan peace. mail, please, Tom. <laughs> So, how you been since our last talk? You getting any? I saw you. You had a real nice hit with uh, that conservative guy, Patrick Bet David. Yeah, oh, you, that one did good for you, right? Yeah, it was good. Uh, the H three community, man. Shout out to you guys. Mm -hmm. They have been unbelievable. They are the best. They are um, the best. Like the day after I was on with you guys, I think I got eighteen thousand subscribers the next wow. day. Really? Whoa. Yeah, that's crazy. That's amazing. Oh, thank listen. you, family. I'm very proud of our family. We change lives on a daily basis. Um, it's what For we real. do. For real, they've been unbelievable and like helpful, and they like, got good suggestions, and they're just amazing. You know what? I'm actually really. I love really to happy hear that. that. Yeah. There is like a really, there's a group of like the nicest, sweetest people that are like so supportive, and mm -hmm. they'll go and support everyone the sweetest way. So we love them, yeah. and uh, we love you, Tom. <laughs> well, I love you guys. Thank you. Well, thank you. The feeling's mutual, of course. Uh, how's the channel going? Let me open it up real fast. 
Tom Ward, you video today. We need views with we need Rory views. Hill, the plastic <laughs> surgery expert. <laughs> All right, we need views, guys. We need the views. Tom Ward show. Okay, well, okay, hold on. It does look like it's better though. Because, oh, for sure. I mean, not I rem- great. When I had you on, you had ones that had like 200 views. Oh yeah. But I this see it on much better. The lowest nice. one here is 2.8 thousand now. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's 10 times better than how it was before. And then oh, if Jimmy sure. Lee was a monster Dr. hit, 10,000. James Wiener. How'd you connect with James Wiener? <laughs> uh, he's persistent. <laughs> Let's just say that. He reached persistent. out to you, he came to you. <laughs> Oh, that's fucking amazing. Dude, wait, first of all, does he have your number? Because I could see <laughs> no. him just like no. blowing I've never, it up. Oh, you're on the texting list Did now, you Tom? give him your number? I'm on the texting list. Oh, Shout out. No. Jersey Tom, 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 I'm, I'm so, so sorry, video, Tom. Tom. I'm so sorry. Uh, I, would, I would never give him my number. <laughs> I give him Zach's number. And mine. <laughs> uh, he, he DMs me on, on Instagram, and it's just a constant barrage that I check in on, and I don't always respond to, I usually don't respond to it because I know what that leads to, but it can, I always do read it, Jimmy, if you're watching, and if it's something that I feel, you know, I want to reciprocate on, I, I do, I do. Mm-hmm. What kind of, how often does he text you, Tom? No, I was just kidding, just the, no, he's good, just around the interview, he was like super, he wanted to come on, he was like super pumped. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because, I mean, no, it's okay. You can say what you want about him. He texts us like 10 times a day. Yeah, he's crazy. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's real. <laughs> it was an interesting conversation for sure. Um, wait, did we ever talk about he sent Howie that picture of him in high school, that post? <laughs> yeah, I don't think we did talk wait, about that on, on the got, show. Hold on, we got to pull that up. Mm. Um, Howie had me. the funniest fucking post after he did his Jimmy Lee interview. Yeah. Oh, maybe we did talk about it on the show, actually. We did? I think so. But I'll pull it up either way. Jimmy now is texting him nonstop. <laughs> and weird shit, too. Like, he texted him a picture of him in high school shirtless. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here. Like, why? And Howie's caption was, was wonderful as well. Let's see. Uh, Here it is. Lonesome Egg said, uh, sob story time, just found my fiance of three years sending dick pics to other people. And my life feels over, but you make me smile and I love <laughs> y'all so much. Shoot the uh, son of a bitch. Dick pic. <laughs> that sucks. What are we gonna do about dick pics, man? We gotta curb the... Yeah, we got... You know what I mean? I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. Uh, we get you, fine. get yourself a guy like this instead. Look at Jimmy. Right. This is a monogamy. He so uh, how he said we just got <laughs> sent this picture of Jimmy Lee from years ago, from Jimmy Lee. Nobody <laughs> asked for the picture, Jimmy Lee. Can you please send us a picture six months prior to when this was taken? <laughs> and he also sent another one. Oh my oh. god! <laughs> for those who have been waiting since the last post, here's the picture of Jimmy Lee six months prior to the first photo. Thank you. Wait, for is sending that all unbuttoned? I can't tell. Yeah, uh, it looks like the bottom. The bottom's button, but it's mm. very old. Oh, chest meat. Yeah, yeah, quite a bit. He loses a button every three months. He is one of a kind, man. <laughs> so, um, uh, well, we brought you on to basically, um, you know, tap into your expertise. Uh, we okay. recalled that you said you were some kind of a li- appliance uh, professional. Is that right? Yes, correct. I work for a company. I've never <laughs> named the company, but the company's called Hobart. I worked for them for like 10 years and they make, I think they were the biggest. They make these large commercial dishwashers. You'll see Mm. at like cheesecake factory at busy restaurants and they make small ones, like all different sizes flavors. And then they make other stuff too. So I used to sell, uh, I did national accounts. So I used to sell like $8 million worth of stuff. Oh, wow. You were a big, you were a a top dog. I was okay. Eight million? Come on, Tom. Don't be modest. Uh, but like one, one and a half per year usually was dishwashers. So I know, I don't know many things, but I do know about dishwashers. <laughs> okay, so that's interesting. So you were selling the industrial ones. So those yeah. ones, even more than the residential ones, would be you would assume. powerful. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. if those, so my question to you, first of all, is... Do dishes need to be pre-washed before entering the the dishwasher? Yep. 
I mean, I don't even know. First of all, you did a poll. What is the poll at right now? Right. Oh, that, I, we I haven't wanted to pull it up yet. We did one the other day, and it was. Oh, okay. uh, but in your professional opinion, Tom. Yes. Yeah. Of course you do. Are you insane? You <laughs> yes, you need to pre rent, and I'll give you. I have notes. Okay. Oh, interesting. I'll tell right, you go exactly ahead. why you need the pre wash. It'll okay. be over. It's a wrap. Go ahead, Tom. <laughs> Number one, if you go in the back of any restaurant, and if you're watching this, you've ever worked in a restaurant before, go to the dishwasher station. And what is it? There's a trash can where the guy scrapes off the food, and there's this giant hose spray mm -hmm. right. where they pre-wash the dishes. Now, they got these giant, powerful machines with, like, high-grade chemicals, and God knows what they're putting on your plates to blast all this stuff away. Why are they pre-rinsing? Because... The dishwasher won't get everything off, right? So if you didn't need to pre, you know, rinse, why would every restaurant have that? That's one, okay? Mm -hmm. Number two, oatmeal. Okay. <laughs> I eat a bowl of oatmeal every morning. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm very boring. <laughs> so I used to, you know, I used to be in the camp where you don't pre-wash. So I would put, I'd lazily put the bowl in the dishwasher. My wife runs the machine. The next morning, she's yelling at me because there's still oatmeal, like concrete, mm -hmm. crusted on the side. <laughs> oatmeal is a tough one. Oatmeal is a tough Okay? And exa so you have to soak and pre-rinse to yep. get that off, right? If it was so great that this dishwasher technology Tom, you got, was so okay, amazing. Hold on, Tom. Hold on. Go ahead. Hey, B, can we get the oh. yup? I'm like... After every point. That, yeah, I'm, I'm working on figuring it out right now. Okay. Tom, I, I want to ask about something you touched on. You said you have to soak the oatmeal. I mean, Tom, how long are we leaving that out for, man? It depends. Bro, I'm talking five minutes. And five it's like minutes? concrete. Yes. It's, it's true. If you don't, like, put it in water right away, it gets stuck to the, the dish. When I, when I do eat oatmeal, I rinse it out immediately when I'm done. Because you know that thing is just going to be garbage if you don't. Okay, good. You're going to have to throw it. Uh, like a like a worthless <laughs> stone without jade in it, top. <laughs> peace and love. Okay, go on, Tom. Go on. Peace and love. Peace and love. Example and final example is peanut butter. Have you ever made a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Absolutely. Who hasn't? Mm -hmm. Who hasn't? Okay. You put the peanut butter knife in the dishwasher. You run the dishwasher. What do you have left? <laughs> You got a peanut buttery ass knife. You're damn right you do, <laughs> even. So maybe, maybe, is it possible that this is a nuanced situation where some materials should be soaked off or pre washed off, but some materials don't? That is an excellent, educated question, Ethan. <laughs> Thank you. That. Okay. Of course, you don't need to pre rinse everything, okay? You eat a slice of pizza on a plate, right? There's no mess. There's no sauce on it. No Just problem. Put it in the dishwasher. Live your life. Right. Right. Because a little marinara sauce, even I would think, mm. you could probably just drop it in there. A little marinara. You know. huh? Huh? Okay. I'd still rinse so, it. So Tom, the professional, says yes, you must pre-wash. The poll has drawn a very decisive conclusion. Eighty percent. The reason that we're even talking about it is because you read articles and we read articles by professionals. They say you do not need to pre-wash. In fact. They even go as far to say it's a waste of water. It ruins the efficiency oh. of the dishwasher, and it's like ecologically horrible thing to do. Pre-wash. Mm. That's what they're telling us, the consumers. And Tom, a professional with the biggest water jug I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> yes, drink your water, kid. That is a big ass motherfucking. How many? What's the ounceage on that? That is a half gallon. And notice I blacked out the name of the water bottle because fuck them. They, pay, they gotta pay. <laughs> I, all right? They get no free plugs. Okay? Hey, yeah, them, hey the smart man. They get nothing. And yeah. so um, how many of those you crush a day? So I drink a gallon a day. So this is a half gallon. Just Twice drink two of those. And you, good. Are you a frequent urinator? I mean, yeah, you're drinking a fucking gallon of water. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I'm just I'm saying that's, a, that's the pro and con, I guess, of being a dedicated okay, hydro bro. Whatever. How bad do you have to pee right now? Okay, so... Me, I'm good. So here's what we've too, done. By the way, but not as big as that Not one. even. 
No. <laughs> okay, so we've done a experiments. Dan has actually spearheaded the cause. Dan, yeah, tell so us about me... your methodology. Yeah. Let me step in here for a second because I respect everything that you have to say here, Tom. Okay, I respect and, you, Dan. And about 72 hours ago, I would have been in full agreement with you. However, huh. something's happened after that article the other day. I started to do a little bit more digging into this whole debate. And I, I've seen the code of the matrix now. I've seen things I can't unsee. Uh, my eyes have been open. So let me go point by point to the things that you brought up. First of all, <coughs> you worked selling commercial dishwashers. Now, my understanding is that commercial dishwashers, one of the main things that you're looking for in a restaurant is speed, right? Because and cleanliness, you can't. And cleanliness, serve of course, of food course. Food on dirty plates, of course. Or even and you're plates looking to with sanitize. Smudges. Maybe it's sanitized, but it's still got smudges. Who wants a little, you know, chips of smudges, Dan? Mm-hmm. Dan. But, well, Dan. here's the thing. Dan those here those machines. Tom. Correct me if I'm wrong, Tom. <laughs> but the cycle on those machines are. Usually at most like two minutes, right? You rinse that thing off, that right? you load up the tray, you put it in there, you pull the thing down, two, oh, three minutes, yeah. boom, you got clean plate. Okay, really? that's interesting. Yeah, super quick. Not even that long. Right. Wow. And so oh, they're designed to be pre-rinsed because of that, because there's not really like a rinse cycle even happening in there. It's okay. more like it's just blasting it real quick and then sterilizing it, like, so, like you said, with a bunch of chemicals and if stuff. If I can uh, mm. interpret, I think what Dan is saying to you, Tom, and... No offense, these are Dan's words, that you might be out of your element. <laughs> Whoa. I am not, sir. Continue. Well, listen, listen. That's listen. a bullshit point. Listen. You gotta have clean plates. So, okay, it's industrial. So what? Right. It's gotta do it quick. Yeah, I agree. But if it doesn't quick and doesn't clean, Absolutely. that's a bad thing. You don't right. want to serve plates that are dirty to customers. And right. I'm never and, and I'm not and I'm not gonna argue with you on that point. At all, because Dad is the queen. when you can't it comes, do nothing wrong. you are. Dad is the queen. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Rich. <laughs> when it comes to commercial dishwashers, I, I know that is not my area of expertise, and <laughs> I, I know I'm out of my element. So I think everything that you're saying is perfectly valid. Okay. The issue is that we don't use commercial dishwashers in our homes, do we? We use consumer grade yeah. dishwashers, Absolutely which are designed dead. with a very different set of parameters in mind. Mm -hmm. Now. The first thing that my eyes were opened up to is I'm curious in this room, and I did a little I did a little straw poll the other day just amongst the crew, but I'm curious, Tom, Ethan, and Hila, if you have an answer for this too. What type of detergent do you use? And specifically, do you use the pods? We do use the pods. Whatever you want, Dan. The pods mm -hmm. are dog shit. That's the really? worst thing you could be using. Why? Tell you okay, why. I don't use pods. Well, so cute. Okay, okay, that's good. That's good. So tell let me about the pods. You don't use pods. Let me tell you. Let me tell you the issue I, with I, the pods. I tend to, well, the reason I like the pods, Dan, is because I can snack on one while I also. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. So I'll tell you exactly what the problem is. Let me let me divert your eyes to uh, Exhibit A here. Okay. Mm -hmm. This this is my uh, dishwasher at home. However, yeah. this is very very standard, right? Yep. Now, you'll notice right away <laughs> there are two trays here. Yes. And then you close the thing, right? And you likely put your little pod right in there. You pop it in there and you close the thing. Yeah. But what about this one? What is this one doing? This, you probably can't make it out, but it says pre-wash. And what that is, is when you put your dishes in a dishwasher, for the first 15 minutes or so, it is doing a rinse cycle. Mm -hmm. A rinse cycle that is intended to be the rinse that you do on your plates. If you do not have any soap in that dishwasher or in that second little thing, then you're rinsing without any soap. Hold on. Really? You're saying that with pre-wash, somehow the water now is going to magically remove peanut butter and oatmeal from dishes? Okay. I'm going to get so to the chance. oatmeal point because there, there are obvious exceptions to this. But, okay, okay, okay. But as far as general protocol of loading up your dishwasher... If you are not using the pre-wash, you can't blame the dishwasher for not getting everything off of it, there because it, you're not operating your machine properly. Is the so, pre-wash a, pre a different product? Yeah, what is it? No, it could just be there. regular detergent. Oh, now you see okay. these little slots right here? Uh -huh. Those exist for a reason. When you lift up the door, all of the soap that's in this one dribbles out of these slots. Again, during the rinse cycle. Bro, so, don't be so vulgar, stop. <laughs> so, so, if you 
aren't mm -hmm. using this, then again, you, it's you're just kind of blasting water around in there. And yeah, it's going to get some stuff off, but is it going to get as much off as if it's soapy water? No, sure. no, it's not. Thank you, Dan. Let me get my thoughts together here. Okay, so that's that's big point number one. Wait, wait. Can we can we re, can we rebuttal? Yeah, okay, yeah, Tom. of course, Tom. Please, Dan. Okay, I appreciate First your all, passion, but we're not oh, here sorry. to grandstand. We're here to have a a, a friendly debate here, or mm -hmm. not friendly, have mm -hmm. a combative serious. debate. Are you sure, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> rebuttal, Tom. Okay, thank you. Um, <laughs> so I used to part of these training is you have to. I mean, it was the boringest job ever. You would meet with engineers who design dishwashers, okay? And they're excited to talk to anybody because no one cares what they do, right? So they bore you to death. Mm. What I learned, I really didn't learn much from them. But what I learned mm. is when they design these machines, they make them for idiots. Why? <laughs> because we're all idiots. Mm -hmm. I'm so sure. wrong. They, <laughs> they design these things to clean and they test them with no detergent at all in them to oh. see if still get them clean. Oh. So they know that no one in the world puts pre-wash in the machine. They know that nobody uses the machine right. They plan Correct. for it. And now, now let me, let That's me just a point. That is an interesting point of clarification here. Point of clarification here, Tom. Uh, these engineers that you're speaking to, are they working on commercial dishwashers or they're universal dishwashering men? They do all types of dishwashers. Well, that's a good question, right? So the the quick answer is yes, but no. The one particular <laughs> engineer I'm thinking of used to work for Kenmore. So he worked for commercial and residential <laughs> dishwashers. Mm, oh my God. Interesting, interesting. That is a really interesting uh, perspective. Although I, I gotta say, I think the proof is in the pudding. I mean, of, of the experiments we've conducted, let's see the, the results. Okay, well, obviously this is a very unscientific uh, experiment, but I will, um, I will point out that uh, on Wednesday, we had a big uh, food taste testing segment here on the show. Uh, Sam cooked up a number of dishes for our friend Love here uh, to try out. Hey, who's uh, Sam? <laughs> yeah, who is Sam? Um, and uh, the... Uh, the issue is, or not the issue is, she she loaded up all of the dishes from the other day in our dishwasher here at the show, did not rinse, did it with the new protocol that I called for, and I got to tell you, these dishes, if I can open this damn picture, here it is. Hmm. I mean, right. these things are spotless, dude. I hope you got better photos than that. Oh, I have a, I have a number of photos. Here's the... Here's the utensils. Specific okay. concern for the utensils. Warranted. Shit gets stuck between the little things. It's all kind of stacked. It's like, how well is it going to do? These, I'm telling you, you can go look yourself. This hasn't been unloaded. It's all sitting over there, Ethan, if you want to verify. Mm -hmm. Looks clean. These are clean dishes. Clean dishes. You didn't find any... Uh, not a speck. I looked at all of the plates. Not one speck on this, any of this them. Is a, the, this is with the new protocol. And mm -hmm. this is the type of dirty you would expect that you would need to pre-wash? Did you feel silly putting it in there like there's no way this is going to work? Uh, well, it was Sam that loaded it up, but uh, she she was she was interested in experimenting with this as well. And uh, Sam, can you answer that? Yeah, go yes, ahead, Sam. I felt silly. You did? Good. Okay. Because you felt silly. I am very pro-rinse, mm -hmm. but I was like, okay, I'm just going to try it because I didn't know that about the rinse cycle. So I put some uh, sauce in the other little compartment and it worked. Some sauce. <laughs> People okay. is just and, a real and, it's, talent. and people already, I see people pointing out the little spot on the spoon. I noticed that too. It's a little piece of rust that wasn't food. It's just, sure, it's, it's, it's on Show the spoon again. itself. Show me again. All right, uh, stand by, stand by. Okay, uh, where's the dang spoon? So, Sam, is, were you, um, as a, as a avid pre-washer, were you convinced by this? I was. Mm. Mm. And Sam, when you go home, interesting, and you do your dishes at home, are you going to pre-rinse or no after this? Um, my, I don't think that my dishwasher at home has that little compartment. Is the thing really? not that uh, I've noticed? I feel like they all do. Take a look I because I was skeptical at first, and then I, all the ones that I've looked at since having my eyes open like this. <laughs> Sure enough, it, had, it had not, the same yeah, design. It does that, not bro. feel good to not pre-rinse, I have to say. It's not that <laughs> bad. I feel wrong. You know, and uh, what Tom is saying, which I think is important, is that 
I don't think the pre rinse matters because they know you ain't using it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Man, there are some straight up weirdos on the internet. Anyway, uh, so what <laughs> we, you were basically saying, Tom, that yeah. Um, we, they don't. They know you're not using the pre rinse now. The pre, what would you like to see? Because I would like to see peanut butter. I would like to see syrup. I would like to see oatmeal. Okay, so so oatmeal is one that immediately came to my mind too. And I'm not going to tell you not to rinse your mm -hmm. your concrete oatmeal. Like obviously, not it's you know soak that. But um. when it comes to just a, after a meal, you know, you and the family, you get up, you take your plate, you scrape it off into the trash. You don't need to go to the sink next. Wow. Straight into the dishwasher. It's okay. It it's okay. So it's not. What about like the dish that you mix raw egg in before you cook an omelet? That one. Nice. Raw egg, like yeah. the ro egg residue, that'll come. That'll come right off in the dishwasher. That'll come right off. Dude, it's gonna sit there and dry in the dishwasher because you're not. Okay. Gonna well, are you gonna? Are you gonna? Are you gonna not run the dishwasher for a few days? No, you. But it, all it needs is like 30 Maybe. minutes to dry. <laughs> I think you'll be fine. That's I think it'd be totally fine. The egg, the egg will right. come right off. Dan, you would never. You're just. I, I'm going it. to. All right. I'm going to live I, by these words. Frankly, I think we've come across something interesting here. Mm -hmm. hmm. But I do want to do more experiments. Okay. I want to have some scientific method where we get plates of varying degrees of dirtiness. And mm. check them one by one mm -hmm. on how well they were cleaned. I think we can do that. And we I can know. even, well, even just for the sake of argument, put some oatmeal in a bowl, let it dry for a day, and have that be one of the things okay. in there. Yeah. Just, just to see, and you egg, maximize the and uh, intensity. Sure, yeah. egg too. It'll, there you it'll go. be like a, an allergy test. You know how it's like. <laughs> right. <laughs> Where they stab area? people yeah. in the back. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think about all this, Tom? I want to call into question the dirty spoon. Is it really rust? Bring the or spoon. Or is he trying to I'll fool us? <laughs> here, here. We need to examine the spoon. I noticed those pictures were kind of low res and a little far <laughs> away than uh, they rightly should have been. Yeah. Correct. Very suspicious. Yeah. So Dan is fetching the spoon. We are calling the spoon into question. Dan oh, is wow. we got the whole bringing the whole tray. I didn't bring the whole thing to be Right, okay. right. So They're arranged in the same way, and I believe it's this spoon that was being pointed to. For it's out, out of camera. Hold on, hold on. But why did it look? This, this is this. Is this the same spoon, Tom? Yeah, it's a. It's got like. It looks this, like the same spoon. This gold okay. color. So let's examine. Now I don't think. So this, was it clean? I don't think. Yeah, it's clean. Mm. I don't think the silverware were super dirty though. Right, love. No, of really course. Dirty. No, that's what I'm calling into question. The, yeah, we barely the food it. wasn't that dirty, right? Mm. And we, they were little bites. I would meals. say it's a standard mess. No, no, no. Do we standard have a mess. picture of the dishes right, before Dan, they went uh, in? Sure. Uh, oh, no. Unfortunately, no. Oh, what, do you, uh, what do you mean, oh, oh no? How do we well, know? We, we, do, in a, we do in a sense because these dishes were dirtied on the show. So everybody saw everybody what was yeah. on the plates. They saw the condition lacking. of the plates. So, so it's not it's not a total blind thing. But I understand that's a fair concern to bring up. <laughs> yeah. So this, that corn souffle is really difficult once it gets like dry it gets mm, very sticky to the plate. Corn so souffle. I would say just the corn souffle alone. You, was you know what another one I would say was probably potato. a decent the mess? Candy yams. Oh, I was going to yes. say the uh, the uh, stuffed mushrooms because all that melted cheese kind of overflowed onto the, and yeah. hardened so we got like hardened cheese on plates. Can while I go examine or has it hasn't been emptied? It hasn't been emptied, no. So can I get a camera back there? Uh, if you give us a minute, we could do that. 
Tom, I'm going to go back there and check those plates one by one. When do you need to leave? I appreciate your At dedication. At 2.45? Dan? Yes. Yeah, okay. you got like five minutes. Okay, we're going we're gonna to get on this. <laughs> Uh, but hold on, I can I can make a call. I'll be here if it's that important. I mean, do, are we gonna get an answer? You think? <laughs> well, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna get there as soon as I can. We're just setting up the camera. It should be ready in any in any moment now. So, all right, let me let me text somebody. But I'm gonna try my hardest. I, I don't this think you'll need that much time if you have something urgent to do. You know what I mean? No, I'll be okay. So. Again, I, I do believe, although I, I do find the, the preliminary evidence compelling, mm -hmm. I find that the methodology was lacking, frankly. We need more evidence. Yeah. You know I, I don't, I'm not oh. I'm going to go look at the dishes. Up yours. Which kind of like doesn't help your case then. No. Suspicious. For sure. <laughs> the, okay, we hear him rustling over there. I do hear the dishes. He's going through the plates. Lots of crinkling, lots You're of like trying to break planking. Them? Something could definitely break, it sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> what is possibly rough. going on? What is he <laughs> doing? He's going ham on these plates. <laughs> He's, he can look, he can look. I'm telling you, this thing's <laughs> fucking clean, dude. Another thing I wanted to bring up is you didn't make this objection, Tom. However, this was an objection that was talked about the other day on the show, and I see all over the internet that if there's a bunch of food on the plates and it gets sprayed off in the dishwasher, where's that food going? It's going to clog the thing up, right? If you just have a bunch of, like, chunky food in there. Wrong. The drain on a residential uh, dishwasher has a food a garbage disposal built into it it chops huh? up yes it does? when does it do that at the at the drain where at the very Did bottom you know of called? like the basin there's blades in there i never heard that and when it spins it's chopping up everything that goes into it there's blades in there there's blades in your dishwasher bro what? i didn't know either this is why i was saying so <laughs> i look i examined the dishes fairly, yeah. fairly well they are all clean okay Spotless, frankly. But again, we need more. Tom, I think we need to we need to do. Here's what I want to do, Tom. Okay. I think the the early analysis is interesting, but it's lacking methodology. <laughs> As I described, I want to set up a more comprehensive test, and I would like uh, to bring you back to analyze that when mm -hmm. we're ready to take it to the next step, which mm -hmm. will maybe hopefully be next week. Can I have your number so I can text you about this? I mean, <laughs> you can text Jimmy. He, he. He's going to blow us yeah, up Jimmy yeah. style. Yeah. Tom, it's great to see you. Yeah. Thank you. Tom, thank Peace you. And love, thank you. Check out and it's all, Tom and it's all love, Tom. Peace and love. You're Happy October 20th to you. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love. <laughs> Subscribe to all the right. Tom Ward Show. Talk to you next time. Bye. That's Tom Ward, everybody. Bye-bye. Dishwashing expert. Who is team... Rewash. Now let's do another poll to see if the needle oh, has yeah. moved. Again. I do wonder. Okay. I think next week we can really drive some good data. Uh, we need pictures before and after of every dish. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think I think like you said, uh maybe two plates, like ten different like <laughs> residues, so yeah. to speak. Each one twice. So that's, we're thorough. So like two stuck with oatmeal, two covered in grease, two with this or whatever. And then we load it up and no rinsing. See how it goes. Yeah. Okay, bitch. I got to say, <laughs> Dan's been evangelizing around the office all week and he's changed my mind on it. And I don't even have a dishwasher. It's just not enough. <laughs> it, it's just not enough. I, I, I think the early results are interesting, but us in the scientific community, we have to be rigorous I think we that's have fair. to cross check before we come out with with fact finding and right. and uh, proclamations, because frankly, if this does turn out to be true, not only could it be a generation defining discovery, it might even win a Nobel Peace Prize. Oh, so it's important that we we take this seriously. You move the needle a little bit, Dan. a little bit, a little bit.
I think it's. I think that's actually significant. It, it is significant. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, it is significant. It's still obviously clear majority. Um, I mean, look. The thing is, like, it, of course, it will clean some plays. The question is, how many, and to what degree? Well, here's a counter question: Do you pre-rinse all of your dishes? Not all of them. No. Some of you do just pop right in there. Yeah. Right. So we're just we're we're, talk, we're, we're in the margins here. You know what I mean? Not it's like white, Dan, because mm. again, we're saying you don't. I think the claim was you don't need to pre-wash. Period. No exceptions. And you're talking to me about putting an egg. I'm not going to put my reputation on the line. You're, you're, for that. You said to me, Dan, I will put a bowl which I scrambled eggs in in the washer. With that one, I think it could handle. That one I think it can handle. I'm mostly just concerned about real stuck on shit like oatmeal or, or other grains that get like that harden like concrete. I, you're probably going to need to do a little extra love on those. Dan, and, good and, luck. And you, furthermore, you're <laughs> asserting that if you've got like, let's say you got to play with like, I don't know, lasagna and all this sauce and shit. So you scrape it off. Scrape it off. There's there's like a fair amount of food. There's going to be some chunks scrape on there. Off. But you but scrape it off. Tons of shit still little not a you know what I mean? Right. The the bulk of it is gone, but there's still a lot there. Right. Put it in. Put it in there. And the dishwasher. Not a problem. Because what would you do otherwise? You probably wash it in your sink with your garbage disposal and then run the garbage disposal. You're effectively you're just doing that twice. Mm. You're just you doing that twice it. at that point. Okay. The thing that really sold it for me, Dan, was that video you showed me. Where somebody cut like a hole in their washer and it was a yeah, window. It, and I want to shout that guy out. Uh, uh, he's somebody, a YouTuber that I've watched for a long time, actually. Uh, his channel is called Technology Connections. Yeah. And uh, when I started going down this rabbit hole, I looked to see if he had a video about it. And sure enough, he had an amazing one where he cut a piece of plexiglass in the side of a dishwasher and then ran a cycle to show what's going on. And in it there. really shows And how when powerful. you see what it's doing during that rinse cycle, well, it's it like. Up. You want to see? Yeah, just show me that, that clip is, you're okay. talking you, you about. You need the visual. This, 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 is, this is compelling stuff. Technology. Let's give him a shout out and let's pull it up. Roll it. You know. You may have yeah. seen him before. He's, he's a pretty big YouTuber, actually. Uh, dishwasher. Uh, These things. Okay, here's the video. And let me find the part where it shows it. Uh, shout out to uh, Dan. <laughs> Dan is searching for the plexiglass dishwasher. Okay, it is. I think this is Thanks, it. Thanks, Ethan. He's replaced the door with a plexiglass? Yeah, he's like cut a metal chunk out of the side of it and put plexiglass there so you can see it operating on the inside. And when you see these high-powered jets and you realize it's, soup, it's hot water with, with detergent, if you load it properly, suddenly it's like... Yeah, that probably is getting stuff off just as well as I would be able to do in a sink. Way better than a sink. I don't know, but exactly. The, the thing is, like, if you have a plate that's sideways, because I see lots of like up and down motion. Mm -hmm. I'm not seeing tons of side to side motion. Anyway, shout out to Technology Connect. Shout out. If you guys want to learn more about this guy rules. About that. Okay, so we have more work to do. We have more work. But thank I'm you. Do it. Thank you to everybody. Thank you, Leon. Ah, uh, dude, I, I couldn't help it when Gabe called and I, when it cut to Tom looking super confused. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was just going to leave it on Gabe, but I saw his little window over here that he was just blankly staring. You had well. to cut. Yeah. Um, that was so important. <laughs> um, okay, great. There it is. There it is. <laughs> uh, up next. Somebody, you guys remember we talked about it on Wednesday. This weird alpha kid, yeah, made a video saying that I'm a dumbass that only talks about cats. Cats, yeah. <laughs> and somebody out there in the crowd, one of you monsters, <laughs> spent a lot of fucking time putting this video together and managed to crop every time I've mentioned a cat hmm. in my whole career. And it does total the amount of two minutes and 40 seconds. Oh, that, that's not the whole thing. That includes his TikTok. So maybe more like 2 or 30. Which I got to say, over like a 10 plus year span, that's not a lot of cat talk. Here it is.
fucking demented in his brain. And he talked about the most like farted shit. Yeah. He talks about like cats, bro, and all this dumb shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, bro, people who watch that, I literally look at it as like you're microwaving your body. You're yeah. microwaving your brain, your thought process. That's the thing that you drew on? <laughs> that I talk about cats? <laughs> I mean, there's so many things I do talk about that are off color. <coughs> Cats is one I can't say that I've talked a lot about. Not a frequent topic of conversation on this show. Showing you photos from my life. My cat, my kid, my bacon. My cat. Hold on, Trump hold on. This Russia thing is, cat, is fascinating to me. That's Trump. not fair. I... That's just like you're reading something, yeah. right? Yeah, hold on. That I... was the crime. <laughs> and then what is this? Cat is fascinating to me? L l hold on, I refute these. <laughs> my cat, my kid, my bacon. My cat. This Trump Russia thing is cat is fascinating to me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, maybe gosh. maybe wow. that's what he, maybe that's what he saw. Cats are your Roman wow. Empire. It's seems. fascinating to me. Spinning is twirling. It's got a cat. It looks like they wrote on it with a sharpie. Don't eat that. That's toxic. She doesn't give a fuck. It's Elsa. Was he in cats? He was in. He was in cats. Okay. He was in the wire. He's been in a lot of cats. <laughs> I don't know for cats. I didn't know about the cats. He was the mean, the big cat at the end, right? Yes. Did you like the movie? No. Okay. <laughs> no. He talks about like cats, bro, and all this dumb shit. This the beverage? No, at the bottom. Oh. Oh, it's the 90 Day Fiance question. guy. Oh, it's a cat. I don't see the cat head here. Oh, so, or shit. like if a black cat crosses the road, right. I will not drive that way. Mm. Cats that is one. That was Zach. <laughs> so, still on your show. Your show? It's your show, dude. Bro, they just spent all day talking about cats. <laughs> <laughs> it's so awesome. Oh, man. I want to talk to each one of these guys. Did, he, did we ever reach out to him? We concluded that we weren't interested. Really? Yeah. Mm. Change your mind. Change your mind. I love talking to them. <laughs> we can. I, I think I, I think I did. Uh, let me check TikTok. I think I may have DM'd him there. Cat. Let's see. Uh. Not the. No. Bro, are yeah. you fucking high right now? You should send him. You should send him meow. For oh. your message. <laughs> and weird him out. <laughs> meow. There's a voice message. <laughs> meow, Do da that. meow, daddy. <laughs> Sorry, that kid's too young to be sending that. Okay. That's a James Charles thing. Maybe he bought him? So I don't know what his age is, but I ain't okay. meowing He's at 21. him. Good point. But, yep. I'll meow at you, girl. Meow. <laughs> 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 Look at that cat. It looks like a loaf of bread. Never seen a cat shaped like that. I like him. <laughs> I'm not saying I don't like the cat. I'm just saying he's. I know you're not. He's I'm a just chunky saying. Cordo boy. I'm just looking at him. So okay, so man. that's a good reaction though, Dan. Thank you. You say I like him. I like him. That's transformative. Nice, Dan. I like this. Does cat. anyone not like this cat? I mean, that could help cat. transform. This. Maybe you. Right, I can't. I can't continue. It's too painful <laughs> to see. It, 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 he was so right. Yeah. And I feel like an idiot now. I'd say apologize, but you destroyed the podium, so <laughs> there's really no way. <laughs> When we get another pod a podium apology, uh, a podium apology, if that does happen, you'll be the first mm. to receive my mm. uh, condolences. I'll add them to the list. Does that make sister sense? Uh, we this guy who neared his butthole and balls and all that. Um, right. He's been talking about me. Did you know about this, Hila? I do know about it. <laughs> so first, I saw this, and then I was like, "Oh my god, I like this guy." <laughs> He said he called me hot as fuck, <laughs> and I was like, "Okay, this guy's great. <laughs> this guy's terrific. Let's get some more butthole videos up, man. Yeah, I support you. Get it." Fetishize white men. Well, I like Jewish men the most. I don't know if they're white. Well, you usually say it's giving Trisha a lot. Uh, <laughs> Ashkenazi. Yeah, Jewish. I don't think they're fully white. Do you know what that, like you, do, right? No. Oh. Well, do you know? Do you know what that means? Ashkenazi Jewish. Well, they like look like not white white. No, they look white. <laughs> no, from, they do not. They're from Central and Eastern Europe. No, it's from Israel. No, <laughs> Kevin. I had Just a feeling you didn't you. really know what it meant. I thought so, it was Israeli. Einstein. <laughs> Albert <laughs> Einstein is Jewish. Oh, look at the hot like. men, though. Because I don't want to see, like, old women. I mean, I love old women, but he is exactly. Ashkenazi. Yeah, he's hot as fuck. White. Exactly. Uh, I guess. <laughs> I do like white people. I do. But th does that mean I don't like blacks? No. I didn't ask. <laughs> what a conversation. Okay, so he says I'm hot as fuck. Uh, yeah. I am, as an Ashkenazi Jew, hot as fuck. I think he was describing you. Because he's he was, like... 
it, it seems like he had somebody in mind. <laughs> it is kind of an interesting question because this is a kind of a ongoing debate. If Jew, Jews are white, For, or, well, it depends who you're. You, I think, would technically. I'm Sephardic. Jew, yeah, you're. So, you're. Um, you technically know. be like Middle Eastern. Mm. More Arabic, frankly, because your your yeah, family's my grandparents from those spoke Arabic. Yeah. So you are not white, but maybe white passing. Definitely white passing, but like, I don't know. It's such a weird question. Is it not white? Well, it's all. It is all quite silly, to be mm -hmm. honest. Because <laughs> what does it actually mean? It, it includes so many. What different do you mean? Types you of, fetishize uh, white ethnicities, but I don't think you have white. I guess, like he was saying in this video, it's like you know, European, Russian, whatever, Got it. of descent. And I don't yeah. think you have. You do have some Italian, though, actually. But majority, you're Middle Eastern. POC. Precisely. Princess of... I'm not going to finish the sentence. Cut them off! <clears throat> anyway, so that wasn't the only one of him uh, bigging me up. Thank you. By the way, I see people in chat saying my rash is back. My face yeah. is blocked. Yeah. Ah, dude, I'm tired of it. I gotta sit here in front of a camera... Looking like this? What the fuck, man? What the fuck, dude? Have you been doing anything about it, though? I'm, I am I, curious. I w did a lot about it, yeah. And then it, you know, with the dermatology, gave me all those creams. I did it for four weeks. And the minute really, I stopped, said, it all came back. Fuck. And then she gave you a new and schedule. And it got worse, too, when it came back. It got worse because, and then I think it was because the steroid cream. So I t went off the steroid cream, and then it actually did get better mm -hmm. and now just in the last few days it started to get worse again it's so weird but i guess i do need to see a dermatologist again but it's not something you always had i don't know no why it's new you... that's why it's lupus yeah. related <laughs> yeah that's the only explanation at this yeah. point in my opinion right i mean it's that and the age really those two together age <laughs> I mean, that you're within the age group right, right. It's 18 to 45. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we we all may have lupus, frankly. <laughs> yep. Uh, here's another clip from uh, my new favorite guy. Although this one I'm going to contest a little bit. Anyone who's actually watched these videos of him narrowing his butthole and balls will know uh, just what I'm talking about in this clip. Uh, here, let's let's listen. For sexual gratification. Oh, no, no, okay. <laughs> Hold on, let me I... refresh here. Really doing this for sexual gratification. Oh, no, like, okay. You... <laughs> this not... is why I showed, I knew it was gonna trigger you. <laughs> if I was, I would have an OnlyFans by now, because I would plug my OnlyFans and get people to so subscribe. So you truly to my believe that it's for educational purposes only, and no, it's for more. comedic purposes too. It's funny. So you're not <laughs> trying. <laughs> to arouse no, people. Uh, no. If you uh, watch me and you get aroused, the, something's wrong with you. You're not I trying like, to be sexy. No, I'm not. If I was, I would have an OnlyFans and I would plug that every single time. It's annoying. Don't Cry worry. about it, babes. I'm just kidding. He's That's clean. He, he's giving it away for free, frankly. <laughs> that is interesting. Uh, so here's what I'll say. I do wonder, why not make an OnlyFans? Yeah, at that point, he's mm -hmm. showing the whole damn thing. Yeah. Uh, well, maybe, you know, maybe he, he's about educating people. He's... Here's what I'll say after having seen those videos. He is funny. He seems like a funny dude. But I also got to tell you, dude, there's definitely a lot of fucking people watching that for sexual gratification. There's got to be. Hi, right? I'm Dick Tip. The, and you're doing fetish content, bro. You are. I mean, maybe it's 50% funny, 50% fetish content. This is a man's dick, balls, and asshole. <laughs> it's hilarious that he's know. doing a service to people who want to learn, I guess. And that's what he him. says. Yeah. Do you really need a, do you need instructions on how to nair your butthole? His instructions were this, put the nair in your butthole, wait, wipe it off. That's what the bottle says. Okay, what about he's making art? Men, they're doing impossible I would argument. I would respect that more. Okay, I I think I'll I'll argue that. I think it's theater. <laughs> I think it's beautiful. <laughs> I think it's shocking. What? What happened? Shocking. Mm -hmm. 
it uh, moves me. That, that is for sure. Have you ever? Yeah. It's he's like a modern uh, John Waters in a way. Amen. That's a pretty extreme joke too, by the way. Like, it's not okay. I de- I'm telling you, you don't you don't understand unless you've seen the video. Yeah. It literally jump cuts from him being like, "All right, so guys, today I'm going to show you how to nair uh, your butthole," and then immediate cut to the camera. Like one inch from his hairy yeah. asshole. It was a perfect yeah, choice. So awkward. <laughs> it was it like stunning. the funniest way he could have done that. With his balls on display, <laughs> yeah. hanging out there. It's so, so, so much. It was very brave. Very brave. He is, he is very brave. But yeah, you're giving it away for free, brother. Anyway, he seems like a funny dude. <laughs> I'm not even that annoyed at him, to be honest. It's kind of YouTube. He's just using the system. Fuck it. But. but Right. The if fact, he didn't do it, someone else would. The fact that he says it's comedy. <laughs> He's doing a necessary service. I've already taken my pants off. Does show just how silly YouTube is being like, that, that, that is not educational content. Yeah. I'm sorry. But okay, whatever. And I've had a verified 18 year old uh, account since I was like 10. How did you do it? I don't remember. I just fucking clicked, yes, I'm 18. Oh, that's it? Back in the days, at least, but I don't know. I'm, I'm guessing there's a little bit more to it now, but I don't, I don't think, so. think there's much more to it. So to make, like, make one. To make a YouTube account? Make a YouTube account and... There's no, like, real age verification. Yeah, you can just put anything. Uh, shortly, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, hey, my theory is that it's very easily accessible to children, which, that's my kind of... I mean, if that. I was in middle school or high school, I would definitely send that to people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. Like when I was in middle school, the goat seat was the pick right. that everyone was sending. Oh yeah, together. goat seat, two girls, one cup. And then the the good thing about you that is you're, you're getting a YouTube link. You don't expect to see dick and asshole, yeah. but you do. You get the YouTube. You go. Oh, it must be safe. You're sitting in a dental office. You're sitting at a family <laughs> reunion. You see the YouTube link. What could? How bad could it be? You click it. You're talking to your grandma. She's looking over your shoulders. Asshole and dick and hair. It's fun. And by the way, that video has 46 million views. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> oh. So is that people just sending it to their friends or what? Or is it people... It went really viral. I mean, that's why we <laughs> all heard about it, right? I mean, the guy found a niche. What can I say? Yeah, he did. And that niche is in his butthole. Also, I'm reading it's not recommended to use Nair for your asshole. <laughs> he had a sensitive one. Oh, yeah, sensitive. but yeah, uh, I, I guess so. I would call that uh, can you use, false advertising. Can you use the sensitive one on your butthole? Let me Google it. Yeah. <laughs> They'd probably say no, but you know, where else is it for? There is risk for burns and uh, severe allergic reactions. And that's why you shouldn't use it on your private. It works? You guys see these medicine commercials on TV? They go, do not take... These medicines have the craziest names. I mean, I can't recall one. Praxorias, some shit like that. Mm -hmm. Do not take Praxorias if you're allergic to Praxorias. No shit. (laughs) You know what I mean? I gotta take it to figure it out. They always say that. that. And it pisses me off, dude. I can't stand watching the commercials. Medicine commercials are the worst. They should be illegal. Which, it's here, horrible. it seems like it's all medicine. It is, like, especially daytime TV, it's literally... And yeah. you can't even buy it. This is how lucrative it is for them. They go, go tell your doctor you want this. Mm-hmm. That's what they say. Right. Ask your doctor. <laughs> Ask your... Tell your doctor to give you this shit. Most countries, that's illegal. Not in America. All right, moving on. Just got a pretty interesting member shot. Is they say my 10 year old niece saw it which mm. i feel like you're telling really? her ten- yeah they're the person well listen 46 million people watched it i mean <laughs> i was being reckless. there's a ton of kids saw that video Thank God. for sure but <sighs> you can't just let it slide please sometimes you just got to see a, butt- a hairy butthole <laughs> and i guess that's part of the growing up process that's a joke kids don't need to see that Thanks, thanks, Ethan Klein. <laughs> uh, we've got... Cav Cav made a really weird drunk video. He did. On Triller, which is uh, so dead, by the way. 
Why are you so cute when you talk shit? I went to Triller's website on Wednesday, and the website was barely functional. But let's go find it on Triller. I'd like to watch it in the source if I can. <laughs> Triller. Uh, let me plug your company, Ryan. Triller. Because I'm the only one. I'm the only one talking about this website. You should be paying me, dude. For promotion. Not suing me. What is this website? Does Ryan Kavanaugh look like Harvey Weinstein? Clicked it. Because I typed his name. Clicked it. Spent some time on it. Looked at the photos. Ryan Kavanaugh Spent some time. I can't even find his Triller account because he's such a nobody. Yeah, I feel like it's not going to come up like that. Which Alright, let me go to Triller.com. I just sent it to you. What is this? They didn't even get Triller.com. Ursula Triller. Wait, some, what? Some <laughs> some journalist has Triller.com. They couldn't even get it from her. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> Dude, like, what a pathetic business is that? <laughs> and I'm sure they offered her money. Right. And she just stood. Nope. Not enough. They, yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> so wait, what is the domain? <laughs> Triller.co. Yeah, I, I linked the video if you want to. Hold on. Yeah. The is... idea that they're trying to launch a social media to supplant TikTok and become the biggest social media in the United States, maybe the world, and they they can't. They're not buying the Triller.com. <laughs> Too much wine. Sorry. That is so funny. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, let's see, Ryan Kavanaugh. Let's look him up. Man, I just don't know how much longer they can keep this website open. So, right. .co, is that... .co is an internet country code, top-level domain assigned to Columbia. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. They got that, <laughs> wow. they got that good Colombian yeah, domain. They use I mean, obviously you can use it anywhere, but that's, I guess, what it primarily is used for. Oh I man, that's hilarious. So let's see. Here's his, the recent one. I see oh, he's man. picking his thumbnail really good. This is yeah, crazy. What's happening here? You know, if you ever want to know the capabilities of Triller, look no further than the co-founder. I can't do that. What is happening? Co-founder of Triller says right here in the description. <laughs> he has no profile picture. Nothing more fun or cooler ever. He says. Dude, is he? <laughs> he's literally a child. He, this is him inventing firefighting, I think. Oh. <laughs> Nothing more fun or cooler ever? Nothing more fun True. or yeah, cooler ever. Is that ever. even like a correct sentence? <laughs> I mean, maybe for 12 year okay? <laughs> he posted a vertical video, or a horizontal video on a vertical app, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which one is that? No, that's, that's the that. one. This video Nothing is horizontal. Cooler. Is this the one? Here it is. I check this out. <laughs> this is a. This is. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> no. Oh Co-founder of Triller. <laughs> Media Dynamo Tycoon. In sepia. Ryan Kavanaugh. Still day. I fucking want to Excuse me. There's apparently lots of angels around. Huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh yeah. It's Angel Day. It's angel yeah. Day. Too much wine, angel day. sorry. Yeah. Fucking white Angel Day, but... I'm drunk? I don't know. <laughs> oh, he's... Ooh, I feel a smack. Ooh, second smack. Dude, I don't even know if he might be on something even harder. This is good. <laughs> like, yeah, he's I'm worried. He it's seems giving, it's giving out of it, killer. dude. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> and again, the, I am worried. Listen, all I'm saying is obviously <laughs> conjecture. I, I don't know. I'm just saying his behavior seems erratic and weird. We're just concerned for him. Yeah. <laughs> Genuinely. And I, I don't know if he has the competency even to uh, bring a case to court. I think he's fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let me finish watching this. And third smack. And that's about all the smacks I can take. Another angel day. Is that Brad? See? It's Brad. <laughs> Everywhere we look. Why are they together like this? <laughs> He's babysitting him, dude. Dude, they're what <laughs> is going on. Are they on mushrooms or something? Like what the, the fact that they hang out so much is so interesting. <sighs> like when do you ever hit lounge with your home like, I haven't lounged with my homie like this uh -huh. since I was like in school. High school or something. Let alone your 
your wife's ex-husband. And what were you guys doing together? <laughs> Playing video games? Yeah, getting high. Or getting high? Getting high right. <laughs> You're right. Exactly. Up getting on this couch. Angel, angel. Thanks for taking care of her. Brad's mom. not even responding to this psycho shit. <laughs> Brad's got too much dignity and self-respect to get involved in this. I don't know what happened to the angels, but... I think... I can't believe what I'm watching. Maybe we ate Wait, what the fuck? Girls. Wait, it's not Brad. Oh. oh weird. What yeah. the hell? Oh! <laughs> Somebody else. Because he tagged Brad, uh, Brad the Bull in the he did? description there, yeah. Huh? Where? Always closing? Oh, that's his Brad. <laughs> that's Brad. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Thanks Brad is like the guy bro. from American Beauty that f is like just fucks everyone because he's so cool and awesome. <laughs> Remember the realtor that fucked his wife? <laughs> he always closing. He was also a realtor. Always closing, baby. Oh, so bro, put the camera it's down. Crazy. <laughs> Fuck. My Whoa. eyes look dilated. See, my eyes look <laughs> dilated. He has to be on something. He's on something real heavy. Yep. Yeah. He's off the smack. I'm guessing. <sighs> when I say I, he must be. Uh, I'm guessing. I don't yes, know anything. Yes, of course. We don't know anything about this. This is all speculative. My wife still Except, doesn't believe well, in what's me. not speculative is that Brad did fuck his ex-wife. Well, we don't know that they fuck. about my he's, wife in this context. Yeah, he's also like using verbiage <laughs> that is like, I'm high. My look at, or yeah. my pupils dilated. Like, yeah. you're kind of letting me know exactly what's going so on. Are you saying that there's a chance that him, his Brad the Bull and his what and his ex have not consummated? I mean, I haven't been in the room with them. I don't, yeah, we don't, I don't know. know what happened behind If, if he doors. wants to sue me, we're going to have to do a discovery of that. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? Uh, sure. Get a camera in there. Makes sense. Why are you worried about my wife? Maybe it's just me. Okay, that feels better. Dude, why did you that post this? Yeah. I'm drunk. The question is, is why he... is it still up? Too? Nobody it's saw it. It's got 160 views. Nobody's on this website. <laughs> 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 That is a cool uh, filter, actually. Yeah. If he wasn't, like, Looking your enemy, I would think this is a funny eyes. video. <laughs> concerning, though. Yes, absolutely. Right, yeah. Very concerning. Like, somebody get your dad. <laughs> um, so that's Ryan Kavanaugh. That's what he's up to. Is he going to erase this now that uh, we've seen it? So then after this one, he posted the, the horizontal one with the big text. And the, what, this one. Yeah. Nothing more fun or cooler ever. Dude, <laughs> dude you are so ridiculous. Did he hit his head? New, did he hit his head? I mean... Mm. He might have banged his head when he crashed into a police uh, car <laughs> when he was drunk. I think that happened, right? That was specula speculated. Uh, that he hit... Yeah. I think oh, that rain, happened. Well, let me Rain's see what's written head. on the website, because that stuff's all pretty fact-checked. Yeah. Hold on. Which website are you referring to? Yeah, I'm just gonna go type Ryan <laughs> Kavanaugh. Spell his name out. Right. Go down, go down, go down. It's number three today. Oh, interesting. Oh yeah, just send me the source, Cam. Thanks. Yep. Yeah. Third paragraph there. Okay, so so I was I was just uh, citing the New York Times article. Oh. Very reputable. Yeah. Mr. Kavanaugh is charged with driving Paper a record. car that sideswiped a Los Angeles Police Department cruiser. Was he drunk? Was that something that was part of this? No, I mean, uh, yep. <laughs> okay. So, maybe where does it say that? Oh, actually, sorry, I'm misreading the article. The paragraph just before it says, so why do you have fake news to try to cancel me? It's just that there is a here, yeah, here. under the influence of alcohol. Yeah, no, there was alcohol. Mm, shoot, oh, shucks. 19 months ago, Mr. McCann was arrested by a sheriff's department officer who accused him of driving under the influence of alcohol and being involved in a hit and run. Mm. He's mm. charged with. Driving a car that sideswiped the LAPD officer. So maybe he banged his head. Right. This is big news. <laughs> you know. He's a good guy. We like Ryan. We're all rooting for him. We're all rooting, yeah, we're for, all him. rooting for him. This is big news. New trailer dual cam, everybody. Everybody get over here. Twirler's got a new feature. <laughs> we're gonna make it. 
Showing off the new Triller cam, the first major company to have two cameras built into one. No way! Be your own MC anywhere you go. What does that mean? I want to tell you about my backyard, my dogs, two of my five. We do not that's deserve just, that. I not have that nice. And uh, just, you know. Jeez, man. He looks rough. That lighting is not flattering. Definitely not. You can see the wrinkles in that. Jesus. This Christ. lawsuit has not been has not aged him well. Because I want to make sure that you guys can hear me clearly. I bet he's got some I'll big old giant bitch tits. That's the hillside. Can't really tell in the picture, but that's the ocean. Yeah, the Getty Center. It's pretty cool. Oh my god, he lives really close to us. <laughs> Did you say that? Wait, I wonder if he's on okay, Adam, I'm not gonna get I don't know where he is. But yeah, we I mean we live near the Getty. No, we don't. Okay. <laughs> What are you talking about? Hold on, mic. pause the mic. Cl <laughs> mute the mics. Do you know how to do that, Dan? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Stick your finger. I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I guess people were worried that I was giving my. I was like, "Did you guys forget that like the minute we moved, there was like a massive hell, uh, headline?" I literally made a video being like, "Here's where I live." You know that this is not see you next Tuesday. Right. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> Every. I'm just saying. It's a, like, you know. Okay. Fair enough. Fair I, yeah, enough. we live near the Getty. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> the Getty. I never heard of that place. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, you want to meet Athena? That's Athena. That's Zeus. Hi, Athena. Hi. You died. Zeus. It's awesome. I don't get the point of the two they're cameras, to be honest with you. Dude, he's the f they're the first major company to <laughs> ever have like, two cameras. Like, well, why do I need a window inside window? What's the point? Wasn't that a, um, a trend with another app? Yeah. I, oh, recently? Be Real, right? There was, right, yeah. There's a yeah. few, but yeah. So he's lying. Well, we don't know when this video was posted, but, but something tells me they're not that the first. That one's cooler. That. <laughs> something tells me probably not the first. There's an interesting dialogue going on here. Somebody left a comment. This is from <laughs> May 2022. They said, damn, this app is shit. <laughs> That's so weird. Hold on. Somebody has an account. Fuck Ryan Kavanaugh. <laughs> That's not cool. Come on. It's Ke or maybe, Kevinot. Well, maybe they're from something else. Kavanaugh. <laughs> because it's not him. He maybe because he has a lot of he has a lot of enemies. Yeah. He has done he has wronged a lot of people. So yeah, who's to say where that came from? Isn't his nanny suing him right now or something for not paying? Yeah, yeah. nanny suing his ex-wife. At I least think. at one point she was. We don't know the status right. of that. His ex, yeah, his nanny know. was suing or threatening to sue because he hadn't paid her like wages in, in a long time. According to the nanny, his, this this new one that was um, that was alleged. It's really intense. It's like his ex-wife or girlfriend or something accused him of like abusing her kids. What a fucking piece of shit, dude. You can pull it up though, so I'm not speaking at a turn. But uh he's going through a lot. You know. Both good dogs. That's Mozart. I just feel bad for him, to be honest. I feel bad for him. I mean me too, yeah. I, this is the first time I felt bad for Ryan, but this guy, like, this is sad. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. Uh, I'm sorry, Ryan. We just gotta get, we just gotta get you help, man. We just gotta get you better. We're all rooting for you. Here's the, yeah, thank you. Oh, God, what is that? Hollywood exec sued by babysitter and wage spat. Yeah, this one, and then what was the other one? I'm trying to find the most recent one. I'm saying so many lawsuits. <laughs> <laughs> He's <laughs> prolific in that regard. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot to read about him. There's a lot to say. Lots in fact, say, his Wikipedia page read. is very uh, comprehensive. Very comprehensive. Uh, okay, Ryan. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm real worried about him. <laughs> this is awesome. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Holy moly! Yeah, I thought Harvey Weinstein was in jail. Someone said no. <laughs> he is. You're right. That's not Harvey Weinstein. Yeah. Harvey Weinstein is in jail. 
if Brian Kavanaugh goes to jail, then it will be mm. really confusing. Because mm. how are you going to yeah. tell them apart? The guy in jail. Okay, they're both in jail. Tough call. I do want to. I do want to make sure I get the facts straight, though. Uh, Ab on the. Um, yeah, I'm. I'm looking into it. Yeah, yeah. The first website he, I finally found it. I need to pay for. He also put out a statement <laughs> that basically uh, summarizes it all too. But there it is. Cav, Cav, shout out. We're all rooting for you, buddy. We really are. And guys, I don't even think I need to say this because I've said it so many times, and I know you guys know. Do not harass Ryan or anyone. Mm-hmm. He knows. For me, I do not want you to do that, ever. Do not bother Ryan. Stay on this side of the glass. Do not, exactly. Don't, don't, stay on this side of the glass. Don't go leave comments, don't do anything. Leave the man alone. Thank you. Speaking of leaving him alone, um, let's see here. Action against uh, Variety's billion dollar producer, well, X, Ryan Kavanaugh. Takes legal action against... Oh, so he sued them mm. for suing him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fun. Uh, this is from this year, May. Let's see. Prominent entrepreneur Ryan Kavkav. Uh, he provided intimate details of the supposed scheme of his ex-girlfriend and her counsel, her lawyer. He's accusing the pair of attempting to defame him. And his uh, professional... So he's suing them for defamation, too? We gotta link up. Attempted defamation. Yeah, we need a support group. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Uh, following her failed endeavor to land a job. There's claims of sexual harassment. Uh, she claimed. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, uh, oh, this this seems like a press release because it's all like, in a seemingly calculated move, with her current lawyer, her third thus far. It's like, okay, how much were you paid? As alleged, you want to talk about Throst, who wrote this article? Wait, what is the, look yeah. at the title of the article. Variety's Billion, billion dollar, dollar Producer? Varieties? Okay. Who's Tom White? This guy's uh, paid. I think I found this section you're talking about. Yeah, he's not a Variety's producer. <laughs> yeah, this seems weird. The accusations encompass new, uh, now more than two years later, and never before raised claims of sexual harassment when that didn't work to include drug use, and finally... Uh, after a week of threats, when it became clear Kavanaugh wasn't going to give in to their extortion, even reached as low as concerning child endangerment claims. So those are all the claims. Yeah. Dude, he, what, what the fuck is this article? Holy smoke. That title is very confusing. No, no, no. Tom, who, look, I don't want to do this on the show, but look into Tom White. He's a pay-for-play guy, right? We, we, we oh, almost certainly. Remember, we... Uh, it's even real. We, we've, we've seen Ryan doing that many times before. Allegedly. Pulled allegedly. Out. No, it was like, no. Rem- no, not allegedly. He was been on all those fa- like for like mailers. Uh, yeah, exactly. Instagram yeah. competitions. Right. Oh, okay. That's right. <sighs> all right. Well, Tom White has a really prolific career over here. John McSherry <laughs> shared. John McSherry shares the secret <laughs> to making eight figures in real estate. Wake the fuck up. And popular shopping app Tenmu makes big game debut, so check out his uh, body of work there. Mm. All right. <sighs> now that that's all cleared up. <laughs> Steven has a new song. I'm Steven? Rectangular. Oh, yes. He made a new song that's kind of going viral. to him. <laughs> <laughs> so, and it's, is it claimed or no? No. I wish... Was make- oh no, this is all he got? Why is this should have more views? This is such an iconic. Okay, so when I first saw this, I was like, oh wow, he got a p- private plane or something for <laughs> it. But as he continues to walk it, no, he's just magnetic, magnetic. He's actually just doing this. I wish you would come closer, come closer to me. Wait, did the beginning start with I traveled? Uh, the other, there's two videos of this magnetic song. The other one starts with a... Oh, so let me watch that one. Then. Sure. If that's the more comprehensive yeah, one. Yeah, so that's the <laughs> official version. Yeah. I traveled 1,447 kilometers-ish to Magnetic Hill for this. I wish it was magnetic, magnetic. Hey, what happened? 
Am I, the, it wasn't synced up at all, was it? <laughs> Look at his mouth. Hold on, hold on. Let me go back. Is this just a sync thing, Dan, or? Play it again. Because it's, Audio it's is sync? slightly okay. delayed. Seven kilometers this is sync. To magnetic hell for this. Watch I wish yeah. it was no, magnetic, gone. magnetic. What the fuck? <laughs> what do you he, mean? Why didn't he trim it or something? <laughs> I wish you editing. would come close. Oh, he's back. Okay, so he just started too early and didn't want to retake it. Mm. Magnetic, magnetic. I wish you would come closer, come closer to me. And if I had my way, <laughs> and I got close to you, you get stuck There's to me. Extra passion here. <laughs> I wish I was magnetic, magnetic. <laughs> I wish you would come closer, come closer to me. And if I had my way, kind of and I got nice. close to you, you get stuck to me. So, so hold on. He's a rectang. Uh, he's a yes. he's a rectangular magnet. I think rectangles are out. <laughs> Stop. Well, hold on. What shape are most magnets? It could be any shape. It could be really this any song shape, sounds yeah. like it's in the shape of a heart. I've seen you know all the circles. circles though too. Yeah. But I, I've noticing a trend in his music. It's like I am this thing. I am, mm. a, I am a rectangle. I am a magnet. <laughs> right. Mm. right. I am a. I am a. Uh, <laughs> I'm not suicidal. Mm. Right. Whatever. What whatever. What is the meaning? I think he just needs to be himself. Mm. He's always trying to be someone else, be something else. Mm -hmm. Sean, Sounds you're cool. not a magnet, bro. <laughs> and you're not a rectangle. You're a man. You're a human being with complex <laughs> emotions and ideas. Very, <laughs> very mixed response in the chat, I must say. Well, here is. Song. Well, watch this I one. I wish first. I was magnetic, <laughs> magnetic. Because I, I know this one come closer, rubs people come wrong. Just because of the whole main character. And if I had syndrome. my way, and I got close to you, oh. you get stuck to me. That lyric is a little. It's a little. I wish I was a little bad vibe. Like you'd Stalkery. get stuck to me, like against your will. Yeah, a yeah. little bit. A little. Oh. Stalk yeah. This <laughs> is what it mm -hmm. gives me. <laughs> here, let's listen again, because you're absolutely right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> It's like a trap. Like it's a trap. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna to have you. my way with you. Oh. No. <laughs> Listen to the lyrics. I just no. want to point out, depending on the uh, way you have the magnet flipped, flipped, he could actually be repelling everybody with his magnetism, actually. Wait. Mm. But that's not what he says, though. <laughs> I'm just trying to give him an out. <laughs> <laughs> That's it's up. just an unfortunate uh, lyric, I think. <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah. know any other way to interpret that. Closer, come closer to me. And if I had my way, and I got close to you, you get stuck to me. <laughs> that is the only way to interpret that. I'm sorry. It's a, he delivers it in a sinister manner. Let's be honest. It's he goes, giving, you'll get stuck to me. Like, oh. yes. It's giving... Um, and and you'll never leave. <laughs> it's just, it's scary a little bit. Also, like the way he's cruising through the public with out of care <laughs> makes him feel like I don't care about anything but getting you. Yeah. And in a sense, it's giving me handcuffs to a radiator. You know? Right. <laughs> I wish it was magnetic, magnetic. This poor kid, man. Look at this. Look I wish at this you kid. Come oh my god. This guy's in the. <laughs> It, He's it in the looks aisle. like he must be getting close to like the bathroom. <laughs> Look at all the people. He's just. I wish it was magnetic. magnetic. E excuse me. <laughs> I'm shooting a music video. Look at the poor kid here. <laughs> I wish you would come. So hold on. <laughs> What's also funny too? I think he. By the way, his arm is angled. He must be doing a selfie stick. Yeah, for yeah. sure. So yeah. that makes it even weirder. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think he he has to go first class, surely? Did he go back to economy and record this? I think he probably would do weirder, that. Right? Yes, he would. Because <laughs> he's a multi-millionaire. That's I'm, an interesting point. So he because went back to the peasants. He wouldn't shoot this in first class. They'll kick no, him. No, yeah, for sure. Also, you he, do this. he wants to be mad. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and he wants to be like relatable. And I all think this. that's a good point. <laughs> I guess not. He's just having a big joke. This plane doesn't look like... It's really small. It looks mm. like it's all That's normal. true. Maybe there isn't a first class... There's in this. There's economy plus for sure though. That's for sure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> economy plus, more leg room. Yeah. <laughs> come closer to me, and if I had my way, 
and I got he close nice to voice, you. You get stuck to me. <laughs> it, it, you know, be awesome. You only be no, like. <laughs> yes. I, wish, I wish it ended with him going in the bathroom. <laughs> that's what I, I agree. That's what I feel like. <laughs> yeah. I would have made it so yeah. funny. Yeah, I feel like I'm he, missing that shot. Like mm -hmm. he, he's walking towards the bathroom. He just got to pee, and he just shot this <laughs> on the way. Yeah, that would make wait. <laughs> it would also give us a story. Like maybe he's waiting for someone in the airplane to meet him there. He's mm -hmm. like, if I had my way, you'd you'd come meet me. <laughs> maybe that's the concept. Hello, Olivia. Uh, but Hello. Again, I, I want to uplift uh, Stephen. I think he's got a beautiful voice, frankly. I agree with you. I think he needs help with the lyrics, if I may say. He like his lyrics are. It's not that they're. It's bad. catchy it's though. It's a little. He definitely knows outside perspective. Definitely knows how to make a catchy song. Yeah, sure. Like I like the concepts are cool. Like the rectangular and the magnet are nice concepts for a song. He just needs a little outdoor, a little outside of perspective. Be like, this sounds like rape, dude. Do you want to change this up? Now <laughs> put that phone down. I don't know, man. Everybody, look at your phone right now. It's also worth mentioning a, a industrial strength magnet on a plane would be very bad. Oh, mm, yeah, true. That would be very bad. Dangerous. Yeah, that's Dangerous. not allowed. You can't allow that. Good point. Ah, don't show the screen. Thanks. <laughs> what are you afraid of? Uh, I pulled up our lunch spot. That's what I'm afraid of. Ah. <laughs> you want this spot? I'm not sure about it. Yo. Sure about it. You it's feeling it? I'm not feeling it. It's like a lot of meat. It's all meat. No, it's healthy. This is healthy? <laughs> yeah, you can get veggies instead of the, that thing. Hell like, yes. It's so good. I just not know. Oh well, I can maybe I could do this. What do you think about this, Hila? Look at that. What about this? I don't like I rice. It's like all rice. Perhaps you can get veggies. I don't have a plan. I think I'm the only person that doesn't like rice. I hate to say it, but it's true. What is this uh, edit of? Magneto. Uh, that's Magneto. He's in his villain arc right now. Oh, yeah. Magneto. Oh, that would be so cool if that was like a solo performance by Magneto in one of the movies. <laughs> I'd like a breakdown where yeah. it just turns into magnetic, musical all magnetic. of a sudden. Yeah, that would be really like... He lost his powers and he's in the dark night of the soul trying to uh, find you know, himself. Magneto, I'd watch an X-Men musical for sure. Yeah. He's a really I, complex, interesting character, honestly, so... Him having that gentle side would, would fit with the character. Anyway, shout out to Sean Stevens. Who shout out! Shout out! Keep it up. He is out there. Yep. He is out there. He's creative. He's magnetic. He's, tra he's traveling Don't thousands of kilometers. Don't you'll get stuck. Oh, you know what? We're at 3.30, so we should probably get to the poem segment. I think then so. Then the Sniper Wolf stuff. We just have so much fun stuff to watch here. Yep. Uh, one thing I do want to welcome back is the Seaman Preacher, real fast. <laughs> King, Master, Prophet. Uh, Seaman's... Uh, no, this isn't the Seaman's another type of milk guy. This is the... Uh, you guys will recognize his voice. He has oh, a very. Yeah. There's no mistake in this guy. He's a very so interesting nope, delivery. Not that one either. I sleep on the sofa. You sleep in the bed. You want me, woman? Let's go get mad. What would the Holy Ghost do to all them boys? They was riding it no good. You know why? God called them. Some of them are chosen. You know, you know tell God who they chose. Tell him who they chose. He chose the riding. The no good. The stomach. Is he doing some kind of like. He's doing the blues. Yeah, dude. that's what I was saying. Yeah. He's actually yeah. doing some kind of musical mm -hmm. number. Yeah. yeah. You put my wrong. He's keeping the beat. Yeah, that's the beat. That nah. Man. <laughs> I mean, that's cool. <laughs> it's definitely innovative. <laughs> but I could see, like, if you're in, like, a jazz mm -hmm. quartet, yeah. and you're feeling it, you're, the, mm -hmm. the beat is, like, you know, sometimes it just fills your body. You feel yeah. mm -hmm. anticipation. Mm. <laughs> he would be, like, it. super useful in a college a cappella group, I imagine. <laughs> <laughs> he could hit all the weird sounds. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Mr. Caldwell said, before he died, he was everything for the homosexual. 
and God you with him. I know you've done wrong, but that's all right. Sure. You cheat. <laughs> you've done wrong. Really cool you angles, stole. Yeah, yeah. You name it. You've done it. But if you preach, prophesy, <laughs> speak in tongues, the Holy Ghost is going to clear your name. Good breathing <laughs> techniques. Good breathing. It's going to clear your name. When you come back, when you come back, put up your tent on John Doe Street. Put it up in the midst of the city. John Doe City. You know what no good boy. You go there. You know, I gotta say, improvisational skill is pretty impressive. He yeah. doesn't ever <laughs> slow down or miss. It's just going. Tempo. Yeah, it's, it's like a daunting. metronome. Yeah. He is. He's, wow. Yeah. That's a consistent man. I would love a... If anyone out there wants has nothing to do this weekend, huh. uh, a transcript of this. <laughs> <laughs> no. You get your beat now. Throw some oil on her. Say in the name of Jesus, you going to beat her. You call her mother. Throw some oil on you, man. You going to beat her. So you close. got power. Yeah, when you tell me, they going to beat her. <laughs> Hell, so going to hit her. Top of their head. Oh, no. So that they beat her. <laughs> Tap that spin. Tap that spin. You get power. When you tell me, you going to beat her. In the name of Jesus. Woman. Woman. Mother knock on your stun door. Wait, hold on. He's he's doing something. He's eating well, right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it kind of works. Yeah. Now, is it possible it's involuntary, the sound? No. No? No, I watched it's other very videos. very intentional. He's okay. on beat. Yeah. 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 He's yeah, doing jazz. Beat. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, jeez. I am, I am kind of curious if he has normal videos. Yeah, I've watched other videos from where he's just... T he's still rambling, but not like that. Mm. Does he seem like a normal dude? No. No. Mm. No. <laughs> <laughs> My shoulder got the bum the fuck I got. Right. He's a special dude. Special guy. Uh, yeah, the, the Lord chose him. He's magnetic. <laughs> yeah, he's rectangular ah. magnetic. Hallelujah. All right, so, um, oh, God, this is the other thing. All right, do you guys want to figure out lunch before I, we get into, like, the main segment, or should we just? We, we had figured out lunch. What? And then y'all threw a monkey wrench into I mean, the whole works that. here. How are you going to eat there then? Oh, I wasn't going to eat, but... Oh. <laughs> well, then that then sure, it works for you. <laughs> Ooh, come with that heat. It's like just a little... Let me look at Well, then what do you want? What do you I don't want know what there? I want. That's the hardest question uh, in life. What about Middle is... Eastern? Would you do that? Sure. Imagine being married to her. <laughs> and in all the best ways possible. <laughs> In all the greatest ways possible. Oh my god. I have know. actually been so easy with food. I, in the best like, <laughs> ways that are wonderful. Imagine the joy. Imagine the thrill. Yep, did the it, boy. Can you um, please condemn what you just wife. said? I, I, what, I didn't finish what I was saying. I okay. said, imagine <laughs> being married to her. Imagine, you know, the privilege, the right. joy. Thank uh, you. Of, wow. I mean, thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Wow. Love you so much. <laughs> Incredible. What if, I mean, really? I guess. <laughs> clap those cheeks. Yeah, it's all, it is all meat. I was trying to hit a clapping sound effect. Sorry, Ian. <laughs> wrong, wrong clap. Wrong clap. <laughs> but I do, I do kind of think that you need to pitch the spot, if you know what I mean. Me? Well, give, give them some leads. I don't know. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. We'll be stuck here forever. I'd rather just focus on the show. It's true. It's already 3.30. We got we got poems to get to. We got s sniper wolf. Yeah, a lot of big stuff. I can just figure it out after the show. Okay, so we won't get. You'll skip. Yeah, we'll skip. Copy. Okay. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> let's go ahead then and move on to um. We want to do a really magical, beautiful moment. We're about to do the poetry game. Mm. Mm. I'm actually gonna go to the bathroom real fast. Okay. Right. Then I'll come back. Sounds good. I can catch up on all these lovely super chats. AB, hit me with some uh, hit me with some low key kind of jazzy vibes. Mm. Drop the heat, DJ. Here it comes. I'm ready. I'm ready. You're also muted if you're. I mean, okay. Yeah. I just want to make sure you're ready. You ready? I'm so ready. I've never been more ready in my life. <laughs> The Wii music? I don't, this might be copyright, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Try again. What? Ah, there it is. I All got right. it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Please hold. And Holding. 
Okay, and here we go. The old timey music? No. Oh, oh, they just did everything. Can we get old oh. music while oh, you I... find that song? Maybe. Oh yeah. Can we get hold music for the whole music? Uh, yeah. How does this one? Work? Why does it play all of them? I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Back there? Listen to everything. Hold on. Please hold. And here we go. Here it is. Why is it so low? Uh, it's playing incredibly Very low. <laughs> Take pictures of my there you go. Okay. Yeah, not exactly what I meant, but uh, okay. maybe you can lower it just, just a hair from there. More of a bed. Too, too high, too low. I'm trying here. Yeah, yeah. I got you. Go. you. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm trying to find some of these bigger ones I was seeing earlier. Uh, $100. Uh, hi, H3. And the 31st is me and my hub's uh, anniversary. Aww. Oh, the 31st, like, of this month. You guys got married on Halloween? Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy Moving around. Uh, issue was always at home for us. So, like clockwork, he will come home from work and we'll watch today's podcast. And I want you to freak him out by y'all wishing uh, Seth a happy anniversary for me. Seth! Happy anniversary, my happy friend. Happy anniversary. Seth! Happy anniversary. Happy Halloween. Too many, too many <laughs> more. Is so hectic. <laughs> uh, I see people hey. donate. I saw some super chats. You're lost, Dan. I think this was people yelling at me when I was standing up for the no pre-rinsing mm -hmm. thing. Oh, yeah. uh, listen, oh. I, knew, I knew I was going to get a lot of hate, but, mm. you know, they hated what Jesus had to say, too. <laughs> Let's, let me remind you. Uh, question for Tom. Okay, it's a little too late. <laughs> you got that back there? Uh, what do you need? I'm 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 exploring this. Exploring, all right. Uh, <clears throat> you want me to tell someone fuck you? I'll do it. Who, how old are they? No, no, I don't want you to do that. Okay. I want you to play a little bit of music. I'm, I'm, yeah. Play the foghorn, dude. Fuck. I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, me either. See, it happens. Someone said. Yeah. This is fucking sick. I feel like I'm at Halloween weekend. Uh, I don't. It says no copyright, but we never know with these things. That's the thing. Let's switch it up. What do you say, Dan? Yeah, yeah, I know. How do you know it was it, it, say, it says no copyright, which you never know, but I think Dan's trying to bring down the episode. I'm, I'm doing my best out here. <laughs> um, do we have the Sniper Wolf apology in the doc? She, she, yes, we do. Apology drop. We do. So that's pretty exciting. That's All a right, juicer. guys. We are here to celebrate the artistry of the H3 Podcast crew. Yeah. This, is a story, this is a show about art. This is all about free expression, and a and a free in a free country in a free world, mm -hmm. a liberal society, a marketplace of ideas. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's the whole marketplace of creative ideas. And so basically, what we're doing is everybody, every one of you has written a poem about me. Mm -hmm. Are they declarations? Are they? Could it be about anything, or is it love based? Admiration based. <laughs> uh, Ian said to express ourselves however we wanted to. Okay, okay. Mm. That'll, okay, that's good to know. Amazing. And um, it had it to be a maximum of 14 lines, which is the Shakespearean sonnet, is 14 lines. Mm. Mm. Uh, now, I don't know if you guys know this, but the rules of a sonnet, I'll just read to you guys. Is a sonnet the same thing as the poem? <laughs> It's a type of poem mm. that has 14 lines okay. that reflects upon a single issue. Okay, it t has to take. It usually takes a turn called a volta, and about eight lines in, and then it resolves the issue by the end. Mm. Sonnets use the iambic pentameter, which is an A B A B C D C D E F E F G G rhyme scheme. So true. There's also what? Did, did anybody follow uh, this <laughs> Baba Boo, right. before we go on too much more about the the sonnet structure? Did anybody write a sonnet? I didn't write uh, yeah. it. I like loosely maybe was like, oh, this like looks kind of like a sonnet, but no, <laughs> yeah, I did yeah, not. I, I, I did would not, not uh, the set the expectation that high. Either. Yeah, the I didn't do scans. I didn't do any of that. <laughs> the iambic pentameter is one of the weirdest fucking things ever. I remember that. Yeah, it's and like literally when you perform it to and you have to do it. 
in iambic pentameter, it's horrible. There's no way those dudes wrote an iambic pentameter. The whole goddamn thing. Shakespeare, Shakespeare was did. amazing. He was the pioneer of it. Okay, fine. Yeah. He did it. What, what, so what, what does about? that mean? Iambic, <laughs> We're so, talking Shakespeare plays. Let's see. Um, it basically... Da dum, da dum, da dum. When I do count the clock... It's supposed... It's like... Mm. A, the the I'm emphasis the on the syllables are supposed to alternate, so it's uh -huh. written in a way that it's very kind of like kind of sing songy when you uh, do wow. it. Wow. Says the term describes the rhythm or meter established by the word in that line. Rhythm measured in small groups of syllables called feet. Iambic refers to the mm -hmm. type of foot used. Here, the iamb, which in English indicates unstressed syllables, followed by a stressed syllable. Pentameter indicates a line of five feet. It's fucking nuts. Making me stressed. So anyway, I expect iambic pentameter perfectly executed. <laughs> and with that being said, let's let's get it started. Okay. Okay. You have a little costume over there. If you could go throw that on quick. Oh. Mm -hmm. We got a costume. Talk to me, baby. <laughs> All right. Dead air. Dead air. Come back to the mic. All right. Here's my... Ethan is changing. Oh, we got a background. Gorgeous. Love Gorgeous. It. Wow. In the Globe Theater. It's great. Wait, do we have Shakespearean music? Where's that at? The, this, this is it. I can't hear it. A little quiet. Okay. You know what I'm missing, Dan? It's one of those more of a music box kind of thing, like... Da, 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 da. You know what I mean? <laughs> Not the... <laughs> Uh, well, maybe AB can uh, find some. I, I had just grabbed this one song. <laughs> yeah, AB, uh, get on how that. Uh, I'm typing in dum 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 dum. High T, you know what I mean? It's like high T with the. Yeah. Okay. Like um, yeah, like Game of Thrones intro. Mm, less... dun, 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 dun. <laughs> what the hell is bit. this? That's the sleeve. What am I? Mm. I got you, AB. <laughs> it's the sleeve. Turn it. You, your sure. arm goes through yeah. that. Make sure it's royalty free. <laughs> it's on epidemic. Let's Your go. arm goes there you through go. the pillow uh, rings. It's like shoulder pads in World yeah. of Warcraft. Yeah. Pretty epic, actually. Plus five charisma. Yeah. I like the um, collar. It's so, it's so like, yo, I'm wearing so a collar wide. right now. Yeah. <laughs> That's a large <laughs> ass collar, dude. The statement piece, for sure. That's a nice piece. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and then these are pants? <laughs> Pantaloons. It's, it's vibey. Not exactly what I had in mind, but it's good. Cool. Oh, I like it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did they did they expose their ankles like this? Like cute little. They wore socks. They wore socks. And tights. <laughs> okay, so their their little ankles weren't exposed. That was slutty behavior, probably. Yes, for sure. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. But about you can my see feet. the shape of. Cover Ooh. yourself. Ooh. All right, show let me get feet. That. Woke moralists. Retrieve the poems. Ooh. This is a nice, thick. Oh yeah. <laughs> pamphlet of poetry right here. Absolutely. Here we go, guys. Is this one person or all of them? So it's all of them. Okay. And then I'll guess. I'll okay. go one by one. Yeah, you guys can discuss amongst yourselves. All right, here we go. Number one. We got to change the music. I'm not feeling it. <laughs> it's got to be like, God, I wish I, I knew what it was that was in my mind. Um, Zach reads my mind. He would know exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Can you sing it again? It's like English high T. It's like a music box. It's like a, almost like a, what does that sound? Like an accordion or not an accordion. A, a recorder. recorder. Is this it? No. I would. No. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Type high T music. High T music royalty free. High T. Are you high thinking like that? Do, music. Do, do, do. That one? Something like that. Right. I like what you it's do like, with the hands. I, I like what you did with the <laughs> Like royal. Yeah. Royal. Yeah. Yeah. Dun, dun. yeah, yeah, yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. It's back mm -hmm. there. It's like some classic strings. Classic yeah. strings, yeah. like that. Yeah. Mm. Bridgerton. Are we look? Is someone look in or? Are we yeah. Should? Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. I'll start. Number one. 
Gyat? Gyat father, it's called. I don't know what Gyat is. Gyat? Gyat? <laughs> what? Gyat father. How is it spelled? G Y A T T. Gyat. Gyat? Gyat. Yeah. Gyat father? Yeah. Yep. What is Gyat? We can talk about it. Okay, we'll talk. So this is Olivia. <laughs> no. Right, we don't know. Okay. There once was a man who had great Gyat, but lost so much weight, and now he does not. <laughs> once voluptuous and thick, his fupa, a work of art, now the only thing voluptuous is his big ass heart. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay. He is a perfect leader, though I do have one gripe. Please stop putting paper towels down our toilet pipe. <laughs> For our poor, sweet toilet, he loves to clog. And when we need to poop, that's not very pog. Wow. <laughs> so I don't know what gyat is. Gat. What's gat? That was really good, by the way. That was beautiful. Um, okay. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. Somebody tell me what's gat. I'm, I'm trying to Google it's, it. It's, it's, it's like a, it's it's like a, a slang. Dumpy. dumpy. Why do you care? What? Yeah, it's a butt. Dumpy. It's, big dumpy it's like goddamn. Damn. When, how do you all know that? Damn. I, it's I, in, I, it's, it's in rap music. What people on Twitch say? Oh, a gat? Damn. Yeah. Look at that gat. You could mm. say. I've never heard that. Google says it means get your act together. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> so there was once a man who had great gat, but lost so much weight, and now he does not. Mm. It's giving. <sighs> this is giving. I'll just say for now. I'll put this on Ian. Okay. But we can, I'll move and mix and match. Hmm. Uh, okay. All right. All right. I'm taking this down, by the way, so uh, we can we can review later. Uh, the next one is Yokiro Taco Bell. <laughs> okay. Which is already giving me clues. On today's podcast, a topic so swell... We dived deep into the world of Yokero Taco Bell. <laughs> Crunchy delights wrapped up so well, our tales of tacos made listeners gel. Uh -huh. Late night fika, our midday breaks true. There's something for everyone that much we knew. Mm -hmm. When you're thinking of a meal that's due, buy Taco Bell for the whole gone darn crew. I <laughs> love. Somebody's trying to play me. <laughs> <laughs> you're saying uh, you think that that's loves? Yeah. Okay. Otherwise, it's just a cruel prank. All right. All right. <laughs> it was very love coded. I'll give you that. <sighs> Thank you, guys. This is all very, very touching. Oh, mm. This one wasn't about me. It was just kind of about wanting about you to know? order Taco you, Bell. Who, who, you did not follow instructions. It's supposed <laughs> to be about me. <laughs> Uncompromised. Oh, that's so true, isn't it, about me? Wow. <laughs> oh, Wapton, my Wapton. Authentic, a word worn by few. He's himself through and through. Outspoken, battling for what's right. In dark times, he serves to many as the light. Words are his power, and he never backs down from a fight. Wow, this is some hard simping. <laughs> <laughs> I can see this clip going around and people being like, dude, look at the, what his crew fucking wrote about him. <laughs> How embarrassing is he? Uh, for him, we see a rare compilation of virtues, love, and honest foundation. Jesus. A beacon, a rock in this generation. Wow. More than just the comedian who made Vape Nation. <laughs> oh, wow. I am so much more. Thank you for <laughs> So here's to Ethan with a heart so grand. In our memories, forever you'll stand. Mm. I'm not dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only 38. Not as a leader, but a warm guiding hand. In life's symphony, you're the best in the band. Oh. Wow. I would say, I would say, <laughs> if I didn't know it was written by one of you guys, I'd say it was written by my mom. <laughs> <laughs> so that one is uh, obviously uh, gushing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say A B because I mean. <laughs> is it A B because he's an idiot? <laughs> I think it's A B just because obviously he is kind of. 
known as the simp in a sense. Now you do know, um, I'll just throw out there, and I'm not trying to push you in any one direction, but that uh, Zach submitted one as well, even though he's okay. not here today. He did. Okay. Yes. Okay. I didn't know that. Right. <laughs> okay. This him. this might be a Zach one too, but I'll mm. put it on AB for now. Okay. All right. I've got it down for AB. Uncompromised. Nice. The heavy simp one. Uncompromised. <laughs> also, That's... chat is recommending you do it in a British. Accent, maybe? I'll try. Oh, I'm not maybe that will give you the zing oh. that That's you're looking an, for. Yes. The zing. Idea. I mean, I would if I could, but I'll try. Ethan fucking rules. <laughs> Is that the title? <laughs> yeah. Ethan fucking rules. Okay. This one's called Ethan fucking rules. From out of the depths of YouTube strife, mm. he merged a voice, a comedic beacon of light. I can't do it. <laughs> I feel embarrassed. That's okay. You can D stop. What if it's uh, more of like the Peaky Blinders uh, We are accent. getting Cockney. picky. From the depths of YouTube's oh. wife. Now, see, I'm not <laughs> good. I just sound like an idiot. <laughs> I can't do it. Just be Queen Elizabeth. Can we get an AI uh, voice changer? I've seen that. Right. <laughs> okay, from the depths of YouTube's strife emerged a voice, a comedic beacon of light. Ethan Klein, with goofs and gaffs, called out pranksters and brought us laughs. Oh, that's nice, Ian. When controversies rage and a joke overplayed, Ethan stands strong and resilient, like freshly mined Chinese jade. Oh! <laughs> Fearless in the face of online tension, Ethan's humor and wit will always have our attention. Ethan fucking rules. <laughs> Powerful. Oh, wait, there's more. There's another verse. Uh... Now, with the H3 podcast, he takes the stage, engaging in discussion, a digital sage. In spite of the venomous lies fallen fans develop, wow, Ethan, great moves. Keep it up. Mm. Mm. I'll put that one on Zach, just because of the Ethan fucking rules. I feel like that does feel like a Zach title, <laughs> doesn't it? True. But, um,. I should say too, uh, none of us have heard each other's. We all oh, submitted okay. it to uh, to Ian oh, okay. to uh, oh. coordinate, so we only know our own. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah. All right. The next one is called "The Bird and the Cricket." Mm. Bird Ooh, and wow! The cricket. Mm. I, I get the okay. sense there's going to be a lesson in here. Taking on a journey. <laughs> in the boundless void, a wind is whipping untamed. Uncaged bird, spirit unnamed. Each quip, each gesture, testament to freedom's pull. Clouds endlessly gather, beguiled by the boundlessness. For him, boundaries are an illusion. Mere smoke and air. Branches creak and strain upon will so fair. Admits his dance, admit, admit, admits his dance, the cricket stands watchful. Still, shepherd amidst the grass, bending with its will, tending his crops, seeking harmony within the vast. In this unseeable interplay, our nature entwined, one's endless horizon met by the stillness of mind. It's not that bad. Someone try to fuck me? Amidst the whirlwind, a silent spell is cast. Wow. I am. Mm. The bird and the cricket. So clearly the bird is eats crickets, right? So does somebody feel that I'm eating them? <laughs> or am I the cricket? Are you eating me? <laughs> Are you the cricket? What's going on? If you want, Cam, if you wanted lunch, you could just ask. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, baby. I love you. <laughs> Actually, I, I have no idea. I'll put it on camera just because okay. he likes food and it's about and birds. eating something. Makes sense. There is a bird in it. There's That's a true. bird on cam always. True. <laughs> Next one's called Ethan. Ethan. It's just called Ethan? It's called Ethan, comma, Ethan. Oh, double <laughs> Ethan. Ooh. Okay. Ethan Klein is the name and one you won't forget. He speaks his true mind, you have to admit, with humor, wit, and grace. He brings laughter to the internet's embrace. He clogs toilets with no fear. A, a skill few dare to boast, but he's sincere. Excuse me. 
In shorts and slippers, life's a comfy chair. With Coke Zero in hand, he is the king here. Though once he smoked crack, a tale bizarre, <laughs> he's bounced back stronger and wiser than before. A beacon of laughter shining like a star. In the world of content, he'll always soar. Ethan, a character so unique and goofs and gas, he'll cheer up your week. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Ethan, Ethan. Ethan, oh, Ethan. Mm. Not oh, just Ethan, Ethan. Oh. Mm -hmm. Ethan Klein. I feel like maybe this one, I don't know why. See, I, I, I just, I'm feeling a lean on this one. Hmm. Potentially, I don't know. I don't There's know. an earnestness to it. I don't know. Yeah. Lena has got this know. shit locked down. <laughs> this one's called Cold Mountains. Wow. Cold oh, Mountains. Gee whiz. Yo, this one is like, this one's pretty ry rhythmed out. Uh, got oh, do we, is, do we have a genuine sonnet on our hands? Mm. 14 lines. Mm. The sentences are long. Yeah, the sonnet lines are pretty long. Oh. Okay. There's also supposed to be an exact amount of syllables in each line, too. Oh, my God. All right, here we go. Cold mountains. Hark ye, fiery wells erupting. Churning depths render bad luck. Cold is the knife of indigestion, agitating a rash of coarse skin. A dash of speed seeks solace. On the bull he is stuck, absorbing the words of the world scrolling above porcelain. Hmm. The chimes of obligation rings, deafened atop cold mountains. Broken doors belie steadfast locks, mm. refusing external drones. Mm. Lost in ye flushing trials, <laughs> a bidet floweth ethereal fountains. Lightning strikes disturbed Eden walled betwixt orange cones. The whispering woodsman <laughs> fells the stinking marsh logs. <laughs> mm. Serpent's machinations seek to dam mm. thy floods. Mm -hmm. Silence, ye vat bowels. <laughs> Tide break beneath thy full moon, or darkness shipwrecked clogs, glowing firmament, firmament hearken fallen doom. Descend, ye paper towels. <laughs> Cold Mountain. Wow. Probably, well. I really like hold that Hold on, one. it's not done, it's not done. Oh. <laughs> on wing alight from shared quarters, thy cold mountains shaketh. <laughs> Wise orders and masks of ashamed glee, a bridge collapsed in his wake. Call you fat? <laughs> I don't know. But I do know, I would maybe call this Hot Mountains if it was... Mm. <laughs> I wrote Hot it. Mounds. It's like a Romeo Julia. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, uh, give it up for Beautiful. that one. Yeah, that was that was nice. Oh, what a read it. I mean, I've never, uh, I've never read a poem dedicated to shit, but this is a pretty good one. <laughs> this is one of the best. Cold Mountains. It sounds like a Academy Award-winning movie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it was. What's your instinct tell you? What, about the movie? No, about this. who wrote this one. Oh, right. Cold Mountains, somebody here is really getting into the literature, the, the writing aspect of it. Mm. Mm. Also passionate about my dumps. So, like, there's a, there's a crossover <laughs> there. Amen. Harky, fairy wells, fiery wells erupt, churning depths render bad luck. Cold is the knife of indigestion, agitation, a rash of coarse skin. I'm sorry, what was that? Hmm. Who would get so into the writing? I'm thinking it could be Olivia. I'm thinking it could be mm. Sam, perhaps. Mm. I've been listening to Olivia the entire time. <laughs> <sighs> I'll put this. I'll put this one on Olivia for now. Olivia. Yeah. Okay. Next one is called He Comes From. Comes From. You want to come? He Comes From. From everywhere. He Comes From Donna and Gary Klein. I'm going to come. 
<laughs> Santa Barbara and crack smoked only one time. Hold on. I'm not from Santa Barbara. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Almost. I made a to, somebody who knows you really well. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, it is called He Comes From? He comes from. And so this is I'm, kind of the centerpiece of the whole thing. It says I'm from Santa Barbara, which is really, it's not really even. Well, you're close. from Ventura, which is about, same what, count. 40 That's, minutes away from? But it's same, not same further. Area. It's like an, it's, like it's so further. It's like an hour. <laughs> an hour, maybe. <laughs> okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> Edits can be made post. <laughs> All right. So I'm from, San I wish I was from Santa Barbara. That's a way nicer city than Ventura. Yeah. <laughs> He comes from Don and Gary Klein, Santa Barbara, and smoked crack only one time. <laughs> he comes from an avoidance of youth's evidential fleet. Fleet. Though, with reckless abandon, an eternal child's heartbeat. Huh. Rage, rage against the dying of it. <laughs> Ethan Klein, YouTube's young prince, yet to kick the bucket. Thank you. Yo, fuck. He comes from a toe. Acting as if the only life force of a levitated slide before it's peeling. Comes from a toe. <laughs> I'll say that again. Acting as the only life force mm. of a levitated slide before it's peeling. Just saying. And chestnut causing an allergic reaction to the feeling. He is from Hila and Teddy and Bruce. And of all the words and phrases he'll continue to misuse. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Okay, so 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 somebody, somebody. I'm thinking, who of you would think I lived in Santa Barbara? It would have to be somebody who. <laughs> Why would you think that? <laughs> <laughs> somebody who doesn't. Somebody who's not from here. Not familiar with the SoCal. Not a native of of LA for sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> Which would exclude quite a few of you guys, frankly. Sure. Cheers, Myself, my dude. Uh, Zach, Olivia, Zach. Is that it? Everybody else is that's from it. somewhere else. That's yeah, it. yeah, three of us. I'm, I'm feeling it that it's like... love. And even though he is the simp, mm. I feel like the Santa Barbara thing is a mistake that I can see him making because he's new here. He doesn't know the difference. Okay, I, mean, I know. Now Santa. I will point out that you have already signed You're love to the uh, the Taco Bell one. Taco oh Bell shit! One. I take it back. Not love. <laughs> that one's definitely love. Okay. <sighs> Who did this? So... Who did this? See, could this one could be Sam because she doesn't know about like. Do you know about cities and stuff, Sam? I know you don't know faces. Do you know the difference between <laughs> I cities? I know cities. <laughs> okay. I don't know faces. Mail for Sam! <laughs> ah, Santa Barbara. Gee it whiz. It could have been a, just a mistake. Like, no, you I, are like you went to school in Santa Cruz. Right. Maybe it was just I have no association sick. with Santa Barbara. Right. None. How many, who's left? Cam? Dan? Uh, you have assigned Cam. You haven't assigned me. You haven't assigned... Uh, um. No, you did assign it. Lena, is it just you have done Lena? I did. Yeah. yeah, Lena's here. Who am I? Sam, myself, and oh, Ian. Ian. No, wait. The first one. No, I gave you one. Ian. So wait, these are the last two. Three, four. Oh no, no, it's not. There's three more. I can't. Including stand this. Dan. No, there's two more. This is it. This is the last two. My bad. So it's just Dan and Cam. Dan. So I'm gonna put this one. No, you do have one assigned to. Cam uh, is not Cam. from here. Yeah, I think I'm going to put, he comes from to Cam. I mean, listen, we know he, he loves Boston. He, when it comes to that area, he's got it all on lock. SoCal, he's still working on it. Cam is my favorite bunny man. <laughs> sure. uh, I will point out that you assigned the bird and the cricket to Cam. Fuck. Then who didn't I... <laughs> so who is missing? Yeah. It was me, and it's Sam, and I think just those two. I think it's just me and Sam. Oh, oh okay. okay. Okay, then Sam gets the he comes from. Okay. Dan, Dan being a... Los Angeles native. Mm -hmm. So there's just one more, you say? One more. This is obviously Dan's. Yep. Assuming you got them all right. <laughs> one of a kind. One of a kind. Come hither. Come quick. It's like, I don't know. And if you're good, I'll show you a trick. Listen to my tale about a host, a boss, an all-around mensch. <laughs> Open toe shoes with socks <laughs> that may give a kick. The ultimate alpha without a stitch. Stitch, stitch. Oh, yes, a stitch of cloth. 
all year round his teddy fresh drip. It's a shame I cannot relay on the open air, for I am in a faraway place. Mm. Let the man speak, not in a Bobby type of way, <laughs> but yeah. hear his wise words. So cheers to my dude, Ethan. One of a kind, and make sure to flush. This one is definitely Zach, just because yeah, there's I so agree. many soundbite references. <laughs> it's so <laughs> Zach. I, I feel like the tell, who else uses the word mensch? Yeah, that, so yeah, the mensch was a giveaway too. <laughs> yeah. So, so the so, one that you had given to Zach was Ethan fucking rules. Mm. Okay, so that one, so one of Stop! a kind I'm putting on Zach. Then Ethan fucking rules. Who so that only that? leaves me. Do you think that I wrote Ethan fucking rules? No. <laughs> <laughs> no? <laughs> Absolutely not. Hmm. <laughs> Got him. Interesting. But he says that every day. Yeah. yeah. As soon as I come in. I mean, it's it's required. It's the password to get in the building. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, so we all say that, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. Everyone kisses the ring before the show starts. <laughs> um, uh, dude, I got. I don't know. Ethan fucking rules. Should we hear it again? Me. What? Should we hear Who it again? Likes you me? Sons of bitches. From I like you. I, you I, you can't rule me out. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> From out of the depths of YouTube strife emerged a voice, a comedic beacon of life. Thanks, Dan. Ethan Klein with goofs and gaffs called out pranksters and brought us laughs. An OG fan. Mm hmm. It's a prank, bro. Uh, when controversies raged and a joke's overplayed, Ethan stands strong and resilient, like freshly mint, freshly mined Chinese jade. Fearless in the face <laughs> of online tension, Ethan humor and wit will always have our attention. Old school, into the jade thing. I do think that Dan does fit some of that mm. requirements, Disgusting. actually. Because Dan does know a lot of the old lore. Mm-hmm. And I do love Jade. I'm not going to deny that. I th I'll put it on Dan. <laughs> Maybe he is Ethan fucking rules. Huh. Hmm. Who knows? All right, let me change. This thing's hot. I know. I'll leave it on. I'll leave it on. Leave it on. <laughs> you look great. Give it up. Well done on the reading. Nice. Okay. How long we've been going, Dan? Uh, we've been going uh, two hours, 30 <laughs> minutes, and 54 seconds, actually. Thanks for asking, A.B. <laughs> All right. So it. at the top, we have yet. I'm impressed with this. Pretty, top. pretty fluffy. Yeah. <laughs> I like the vibes. Me too. You know. Okay, so here I can. Uh, this thing keeps pull this up real quick. So get father. Um, Dan has been fantastic. Was the one that said that I was yeah, but I lost weight and now I'm not yeah. You don't have the yeah. You don't have a gat anymore. I said this one was yeah. Ian. Who wrote Gat Father? That was mine. Oh, That's I thought Sam. it might be Sam. I That's a Sam. It, to be honest. Sam yeah. wouldn't say Gat. Sam the slang. Gat. Gifted sub. Because you know all that shit. You're, you, yeah. you're like the, you told us about Chugi. Sticking out your gat <laughs> you for the Rizzler. <laughs> 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 All right. So the the first the guess was Ian. The result was Sam, which I obviously is going to make this one incorrect as well. But you know what I mean? we, we'll we'll circle back. I love it. I guess you were close. We're technically close. Yeah. <laughs> they spend a lot of time. Together. Let me ask you this, Sam. Like minded. Did, did Ian look at this at all? Did no, he, he did not. He didn't even see it. No input. <laughs> all right. The Yokara Taco Bell one, which I said was <laughs> love, obviously an ode to Taco Bell. That we know more than an ode to Taco Bell than it was to you. Which I don't think right. I was even mentioned, frankly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I heard make a make one for you. Oh, okay. I had so a little it, message uh, for you. To it, yeah. That's the thing, and that that's what the major is too. It's like rules are meant to be broken, dude. Yeah. Hell yeah, bro. Like you don't have to really even write about my uh, promise. You got me. Yeah. So this is you. Yeah, and shot GBT. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who else? You wait. Hold on. Yeah, who else? How many people it? use ChatGPT? For I did not. I did not. Because mm. I mean, it's a good idea. I mean, it's one hell, it's one way to do yeah. it. Yeah. Well, well, love, honestly, when with love the is... English language, like I feel like I would have had no chance writing like you guys, so I probably yeah. would have had to do that. Too. I probably wouldn't have been able to do it in Swedish either. But I was. This felt like a school task, and I wanted it over as fast as possible. <laughs> <laughs> but you punched it up with your own touch too, right? Yeah, I did yeah. personalize it a lot. So yeah. what was your prompt to ChatGBT? Yeah, what'd you ask? I'd make, 
make a poem convincing my boss to buy Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh, hell yeah, brother. Mm -hmm. All right, next is Uncompromised. <laughs> this right. one is the one that was like heavy simping. Yeah, this was heavy simping yeah. going on in this one, and you said AB. Uncompromised. Oh, Wapton, my Wapton. <laughs> Authentic, a word worn by few. He's himself through and through. So here's to Ethan with a heart so grand. Yeah, I thought it was AB. Who else would gush over me like that? Zach, maybe, but I don't think, I think we know Zach's. Mm. Olivia, maybe? I don't know. Let's hear, who did it? I hope this doesn't make me sound like a douche. Come forward. It was me. It was baby. Oh, of course right. it was. There was there a was little mistake. They kept, oh, Captain, my Captain. That was the original title. And I maybe I was misleading when I sent it to Ian. But yeah, that, that line's not supposed to be in there. That was, the, that was the first title. Wait, which line's not supposed to be here? Oh, uh, well, Captain, my Captain. Oh, Wapton, uh, my Wapton? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's supposed to be the title. Yeah. Wapton. Well, and then I changed it. I changed it. And then. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of. Well, I, there's a lot of drafts. Yeah. I got the spirit of it. Yeah. yeah. And thank you, AB. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's very touching. Yeah. <laughs> a truly a wonderful uh, testament to <clears throat> your love for me. Initially, I wanted to send the uh, speech from Meet the Parents. And uh, Dan said I couldn't do that. It's cheating. So I said, okay. Right. <laughs> I just love the, the idea of you reading the lines. You gave me life, you gave me milk. You want me to read it? No, it's all good. <laughs> we, I don't know, your speech from Meet the Fucker, Motherfuckers? Meet the Parents, the first one. Meet the Parents. And it gets a little dark. I mean, it doesn't You gave me life, you <laughs> gave me milk, you gave me courage. Your name was Angela. Angela. <laughs> but it'd say your name was Ethan. Yeah, just swap it out for Ethan. Right? The angel from heaven. But, well, the an the Angela part is kind of yeah, yeah. But you are also an angel of God, and he needed you too. Selfishly, I tried to keep you here, while the cancer ate away your organs. <laughs> <laughs> like an unstoppable rebel force. <laughs> but I couldn't save you. Okay. I and I shall. You see, it was a good idea, Dan. We the laugh. beginning was <laughs> good. <laughs> it's, it's... What happened in that scene? Did he laugh or something? <laughs> he... <laughs> No, he he almost knocked over the urn, or he oh. was talking about the urn that his mother was in, and then his wife encouraged him to read. I gotta say, oh. I saw that with my family when I was a kid, man. That movie's fucking <laughs> funny. Good I, shit. I told AB it'd be really great to use that. I was cracking up, and it got kind of morbid with the cancer stuff. <laughs> and he's yeah. like, oh, I can just switch it with lupus. <laughs> That's smart. That's yeah, true. But that then it's funny. true in the sense that, <clears throat> how am I ever going to guess it's you? Because right. it's so random. Yeah. You don't understand me, so there you You're go. just so random. Yeah. <laughs> just so random. <laughs> so random, dude. So random. Well, thank you, AB. And I, there you go. I'm two for three. And I'd like to even take credit for the Gat one. Uh, it's not your fault. Sam and Ian are different people. <laughs> well, that's your opinion. <laughs> All right. This one is a really Ethan mysterious one. Fucking Ethan rules. Fucking rules. Yeah, that title really throws it off. I don't know. Another, like, pretty hard simping one. Mm. Ethan fucking rules. From out the depths of YouTube strife emerged a voice, a comedic beacon of life. <laughs> we wrote... Dan? Dan. You guessed Dan. And again, this is... <coughs> I don't have high confidence in this. Mm. But mm. the reason I did, I think Dan might work, is because of the... the old school knowledge, as well as the, uh... Knowing you're not from Santa Barbara. Yeah. yeah. Can I say something before you guess? This one gave me real chat GPT vibes. And I want to say that before you guess who it is. I don't want to call anyone out, but I don't know. I was going to chat GPT. Or maybe someone's just a great writer. I don't know. Mm. Well, let's see. Well, that was me and fuck you, AB. Uh, <laughs> uh, I can see that, that actually. Was, yeah. So was this chat GPT, Cam? No. No, I could see it being uh. Cam. Then you're a great writer. Yeah, thank you. I'm not, I, mean, I mean, I'm not great, but come on. How is that chat GPT? Cam would never. Interesting. So the bird one is not Cam. Mm. Okay, Cam. Thank mm. you. Ethan fucking rolls. Thank you. <laughs> Whoa. Very nice. Ethan. All right. So, so far we're two to two for two or two for four, I guess we should say. Thank you, Cam. That's so kind. <laughs> the bird and the cricket. Someone got really poetic with this one. Mm. Um, okay. This so one. Oh, see this one I wrote Cam. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In the boundless void, a wind is whipping untamed, uncaged bird, spirit unnamed. 
Each quip, each gesture, testament to freedom's pull. Clouds endlessly gather, beguiled by the boundlessness. For him, boundaries are illusions. Mere smoke and air, branches creak and strain upon will so fair. <laughs> All right, who was it? Maybe Come forward. That's Ian? That one was me. Ah. You had me and Cam swapped. I knew. Mm. Boom, boom. So what is this? What are you saying, Dan? Uh, well, uh, I ended up writing it kind of about um, my... You're the, you're the bird. Okay. I'm the cricket. So I'm eating you? It's not about the feel? eating. It's more the cricket. He's <laughs> down in the grass, and he's trying to make a home, and, the, and there's the wind and the bird. The bird is kicking up wind and rustling him around is all this, the time. Dude, I told you I don't want to talk about Israel and Gaza today. <laughs> <laughs> Admits its dance. The cricket stands watchful. Still shepherds amidst the grass, bending with its will. See, sh shepherding you along. The cricket. Mm -hmm. I'm shepherd, the bird, okay. Tending his crop, seeking harmony within the vast. <laughs> In this unseeable interplay, our nature entwined. One's endless horizon met by the stillness of mine. Oh yeah, then you, this is not a romantic line, right? It's not romantic. Things aren't, things aren't that fucking deep. It's about our clashing personality types. Mm. But that we make something beautiful out of it. Mm. Admits the whirlwind, a silent spell is cast. Wow. Wow. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful. How did you become gay? <laughs> <laughs> uh, this one is Ethan Ethan, who I said Lena did. Mm -hmm. uh, this one was, I think, Ethan Klein is the name and one you won't forget. He speaks his true mind, you have to admit. It's got a nice rhyme. It hits on a lot of nice points about the clogging the toilet. <laughs> Oh, this was the Coke Zero. Or was it the Lena. cold mountain that was really focused on the clogging the toilet thing? Yeah. Oh, okay. But also, Lena, Lena usually does get me the Coke down. Zeros during the show. <laughs> so, is this yours, Lena? It is. It Nailed is. it! I'm oh, so shit. happy you knew. Wow. Got wow. another one. All right. Okay. Pretty good. Interesting. Nice. Wow, I feel so. Uh, I feel so insightful for that. You are. You are. That's true. Thank you, Lena. You're With welcome. Coke Zero in hand, <laughs> he smoked crack once. It's true. Thank you. Thank you. It's Lee. true. Now, Cold Mountains, this one is going to be, this one's got to be Ian. So you put Olivia. We don't need to switch it because whatever, but this one's but Ian. But you still haven't, um, it could still be Olivia. Yeah, I don't think it is, though. Okay. Harky fiery wells erupting, churning depths render bad. Who would like obsess over my mountain of shit like this? You all look gay. <laughs> it's got to be Ian. Ian, did you write this? I did write that one. Yes. <laughs> yes. Of course, that one was Ian. Cold mountains, such a heartfelt, poetic uh, conveyance. I love it. Yeah, very evocative. Uh, yeah. Uh, imagery it's that he pulled disgusting. out. Disgusting. Yeah. Very beautiful, I, Ian. Yeah. I just, the revelation, I just kept thinking about it. <laughs> it's still. And then there's a detail that people don't know. For the like subathon, you were like, let's let's break another door. And knowing that you were playing fast and loose this way, we would have had no toilet. And I, ju <laughs> I just have been thinking about that diehard <laughs> energy you've been living with. Uh, it, it caused some poetic stir. Yeah, it stirred something in him. Yes. And the cold mountain is just my my shit sitting there. I, I sort of imagine you as this so. great philosopher king uh, on the toilet. This mm -hmm. big mountain, and we're trying to... We can't call up to you to come back, because you just go in there for a while, and <laughs> Ian you're is above the clouds. Really you know? fuck okay. things up so right I'm now. up on the cold mountain. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. Because I, I said, well, warm mountain, because I thought it was a reference to my... Mounds. Yeah, it's it more. Of the <laughs> but it could be. It could be both temperatures. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I, I wrote that. I, I was out of town the last two days for a family thing, and uh, I wrote that on the plane. <laughs> and I think the person next to me kept reading my screen, and I was just oh writing God. this poem about shitting. <laughs> so I hope they enjoyed that. <laughs> you did oh, it take you a while, Ian. It, it filled up the flight. I was just thinking yeah, of this. Definitely yeah. Definitely some beautiful words here. Thank you. Thank you. Etched upon my soul. Serpents' machinations seek to damn thy floods, silence ye bowels. <laughs> Tide break beneath thy full moon, o'er darkened shipwreck clogs. 
glowing firmament, hearken falling doom. Descend, ye paper towels. <laughs> Descend, <laughs> like descending into the depths of hell. Okay. Uh, he comes from. This is the one. This is the Santa Barbara one. What was so the Santa no, Barbara one? Not Sam. And yeah, Sam's been accounted for. So <laughs> it. Uh, there's only a few options left. Who's left? Um, Zach. Zach. Yeah. Olivia. Olivia. Zach and Olivia. 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 Well, that's it. So it was the one. LA natives. Oh, so then I think this one's Olivia. <laughs> That's Olivia. a good point. You're Who's right. I just up? wrote the wrong Santa, and then before we started, I asked Ian if I could change it, and he was like, "Nope, you've locked oh. in already." And I was like, oh. <laughs> "But that like, that makes sense because again, Zach is an LA native. So is Olivia. She is too. Oh, you are. Yeah. Oh yeah, you were in college somewhere else. Yeah. yeah. And what the hell? <laughs> I know. I just wrote the wrong Santa when I wrote it down. But I'm not. She meant Santa, Santa Cruz. But I yeah, meant, he's not from Santa I meant Santa Claus. Claus. Santa Claus. Yeah. That's oh. He comes from Dana, Donna, and Gary Klein. Santa Claus. Yep. That's a Santa sense. Claus and crack smoked only one time. Fuck baby. I no. meant Santa Cruz. Oh, Santa. Cruz. <laughs> yes. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> you. Guys I did not understand. <laughs> I was trying to work it out. Yeah. I did not mean Santa Claus. Yeah, yeah. that didn't make Thank a lot you. of sense. So that's twice that you've thrown out the wrong Santa. Yes. Um, so that only the exact for the last one, which uh, I think. No, no, I'm doing pretty good here. Yeah. yeah. So. Uh, and so that one... means that you got that one right. So that that's it. That's nice. this that's one's the that run too. Yeah. Right? Is that right? Bad yeah. Bitch yeah. yeah. Dang, I think I did pretty good. You did pretty good considering you got four of them right uh, out of out of what eight or nine. Hold on, I got. Love's right. I got AB's right. I got Lena's right. And I got Zach and Olivia. That's five. No? Yeah, right. You didn't get Zach and Olivia. You would guess this one was Sam. Okay. okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, someone nice in chat try. just reminded me something. Colleen is from Santa Barbara. Oh. Subliminal. Just... Yeah. She is basically your... Santa Barbara. <laughs> Santa, Barbara. So Santa Barbara. That's where poems I would her. never coin you as Santa Barbara. Don't worry. <laughs> never again. city. It's a lot richer than Ventura. Very good. That was fun. Cheerio. Chip, chip, cheerio. Thank you, guys. Everybody, somebody said all these were so ChatGPT coded. It, look at what ChatGPT is doing to us as a society. Look right. at the screenshot I just said. <laughs> now you nah, can't I, even like believe that anything's real. First of all, I 1,000% believe that uh, they wrote this because, I mean, ChatGPT, let, let's write can you write a poem with max 14 lines Proof about right now, my boss, dude. Ethan Klein, the host of the H3 podcast? Things to include. <laughs> Things to include. He smoked crack once. Uh -huh. He's from Santa Cruz. <laughs> uh -huh. mm -hmm. Or he, he went, no, he went, bleh. he went to school in Santa Cruz. Mm -hmm. uh, he he clogs toilets. <laughs> he clogs toilets with paper towels. With paper towels and poop. Right. And uh, anything else? Uh, oh, yeah. He, he he hosts a show and he has a controversial sh show. Ugly. You are disgusting. All right. Let's okay. see. In the heart of podcasts, where controversy lies, Ethan Klein stand. Ethan Klein stands tall. With a glint in his eyes. One smoked crack, a misstep in his, in his youth, yet he's come so far to speak his own truth. Hmm. Santa Cruz schooled him by the ocean's embrace. A journey of knowledge, a spirited chase. Yet amidst tales profound, one fact does swoop. He's notorious for clogging with paper and poop. <laughs> it's pretty good. good. It's pretty good. That's, the, that's <laughs> My point is, like, when ChatGPT does it, it's like... Too clean. I'll right. Eight, there's more. H3's oh. host with a show that can rile challenging norms with a style so vile. <laughs> <laughs> All right, chill. Me. But amidst the debate and the laughter he sows, Ethan remains a legend as the podcast world knows. Oh, well, uh. thank you. Jen. Okay, very nice. <laughs> I think that's the thing, uh, uh, too, is like, um, did you even ask it to rhyme? No. Yeah, and it, it, it was right, and it was just coming up with all this rhyme. Like, yeah. I was having a hell of a time making it rhyme, which is why I didn't end up doing the sauna thing, and I just was like, "Fuck it, poems don't need to rhyme, right?" Mm. No, and right. it was so. used in a book. Do, do you use like a? Uh, there's like a rhyme 
Finder. Right. Rhymer.com. I did look that up yeah. for one because Pretty I really couldn't think of anything, and I looked through the list of rhyming words, and Pretty it helped me. I yeah. I'm busted. I asked ChatGPT to make it worse. I, I wrote, like, <laughs> make it amateur. Oh. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. Make it sound like I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, clever. Because I was thinking okay. that one was not as clean as <laughs> yeah. ChatGPT would have yeah. made it. And I changed words out, too. So I made it pretty original. All right. Go. We can run them through ChatGPT detectors, too, you know? Should I do that? Yeah. Should I, I try to yeah. expose yeah. you guys? Oh, I sent a screenshot shit. of mine. Oh shit! Uh, Wait, I don't oh. do that. I don't. I trust you guys. Yeah, Cameron's passed the test zero percent. I will try mine then. I will say I'll try loves. Let's think of how to dig ourselves out of this. I don't know how reliable these are, but oh, okay. it's total bullshit. Yeah. Oh, really? Sure. It really is. It, from they what I use AI to read. catch the AI. That's not fraud. There might be tools that are good at it, but not these free ones. No, I think it. Yeah, I'm excited. Right. Yeah. Because I know universities and stuff has pretty advanced ones. They probably have ones that. Yeah, are maybe. Way better. Yeah. That being said, I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run mine through there and see what it says. Uh, how long? How long we've been going, Dan? Oh, uh, we can do two hours, uh, fifty minutes. All right, perfect. So I'm gonna wait for Ela to, or well, I can start it now. So our main. Oh, okay. Yeah, Sniper Wolf. Never mind. The, these things are completely accurate. You, they're completely trustworthy. I just put mine in. And it says zero percent, written by a human. How can they know that? How can they know zero <laughs> percent? I really you, don't know. Can you paste yours that it just wrote for you so we can test it out? Was it worth mm-hmm. all the lie? Here, Dad. Oh, yeah, yeah, here. That's a good idea. I'll send it to you in Discord. Yeah, and I'll just copy it in. God. 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 Here it is. Uh, oh, it says 0% on mine, too. Fuck off. That's... Oh, well, okay. Oh, shit. Here, <laughs> I, I, I sent written. you this one. This one is This one is straight out of it. Yeah, this is super chat GTP coded. Another one. Go ahead. Detect. This says zero. Zero? Yeah, this is worthless. Oh, these are bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. What qualifies? Dude, this thing sucks. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyways. <laughs> All right. Let's talk about. Um. We talked previously. Sniper Wolf is a huge reaction channel. Jack's film, friend of the show, great guy. Got into a little bit of a beef with her, which result he was calling her out for doing really lazy reactions, essentially stealing content from people, not giving them credit, not giving them shout outs, just using people. Mm-hmm. And Jack made a video talking about it, which is fair, fair, fair. And she reacted on Twitter by Name calling him, calling him bald, saying all kinds of crazy out of pocket shit. So I think that's what partially motivated Jack's films to creating his now notorious and very successful, I'll say, J J J J Jack's films. That's true. Which I'll pull up for you. J J J J Jack. This is um essentially right. He does reactions to Sniper Wolf's reactions. Wait, did he erase it? Is that what happened? Uh, you, let me check. I don't see it. I think you two made him erase it. No. Really? They fucking made him erase it, dude. That's crazy. I knew they were going to say he was harassing her. I just knew it. Wait, no, I see it. Oh, shit. It's up. I typed JJ Jack's films. Where's JJ Jack? Did you do three J's? I did four. Oh, oh see, there's your problem. That's okay, my bad. Back it all up. Button, <laughs> button, 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 button. But also, how bad is YouTube search? If it's just one well, yeah, letter off. I mean, and you know what it's I mean. A, it's a big channel. It's got half a million subs. <laughs> yeah, that's so useless. What the fuck? <laughs> so he hasn't posted one in seven days, which is a shame, because these are regularly getting half a million views per, and they're all just reactions to her reactions. Right. And frankly, X-Bingo. there's always you know, something... We haven't done X-Bingo in a while. Here's how... Frankly, oh, dude, add. Oh, it's no. happening, dude. It's okay. happening. Wait, hold on. Happening I can just exit out and then continue, though. So, what, oh. from what I understand, and this was just something I read online, so I don't know if they're going to roll it out this way. They're, this is their way of easing you into it. Eventually, you won't be able to dismiss <laughs> that window. You'll have to turn off the app. I wonder if I'm going to make more money. For or sure. Or if I won't even notice. Uh, I guess it would. Be interesting to see if it is actually effective. 
I mean, Twitch did it a couple years ago, and it's pretty fucking effective. You can't really skip the ads on Twitch. Yeah, so. Twitch is like hard coded in. Yeah, but so the, that's the way it's going. As I understand, the reason that YouTube didn't do this earlier is because they were already filling all the inventory that they sold. Mm, I see. They didn't, so they didn't really even right. need it. And frankly, the people who are doing ad block are probably more savvy and less prone to clicking ads anyway. Yeah, sure. But now I'm assuming they have more capacity, and so that 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 might be why. But mm. we'll see. Uh, anyway, I'll get premium on that account that you use, so we can. Yes. Yeah. We're pre we're premed up. Chat saying clear your cache to avoid that. Uh, don't don't do that though, because do it'll log us out. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, Alt F4, what's next, chat? <laughs> Nothing. So yeah, he made these videos uh, reacting to her reactions, quite clever, actually. And actually quite transformative. Yeah. A really interesting way to make an actually transformative video. And he also continues to bring up really interesting, weird things she does, like inserting the same exact reaction, inserting the same video more than one time. And all kinds of just really lazy, blatant, weird kind of shit that goes on in her content factory. Well, this all heated up when, um, let's see, she went to his house <laughs> and took a picture of his house. Just a picture of his house. Yeah. And posted it to social media. Jack's editor here. Oh, what's up? Thanks for covering. It means a lot of people are talking about this. Uh, thank you. Kuyo, ku, kuyo ya. Okay, we love we love Jack's editor. <laughs> Shout Thank out. You. Shout out. Yeah, so she went to his house. Do we have the let me pull up the uh she pulled up to his house, took a photo of the front, then showed the front very obviously and the address, I think, and posted it. Which is insane. So insane. And for another creator to do that Unhinged. to another creator, like a big established creator, this she gets like mm -hmm. 100 million views. She's promoted by YouTube. She's endorsed by YouTube. Yeah. She's a featured speaker at VidCon. They're retweeting her videos from the official YouTube account. So That's why the whole thing started, right? Because she was a a speaker at a YouTube event. Yeah, right. You're right. Jack was like, "Why are you promoting yeah. this content thief as someone to like look up to yeah. for for future creators?" And he's got a really good point. Definitely fair. I think his point was like, you should be focusing on people that actually are being creative and using, creating new content. Uh, so, Jack now, since that happened, and a lot of people online, have been saying something has to be done about this. Mm -hmm. You cannot show up to another creator's house and just fucking dox them. Not only is it potentially illegal and super fucked up, the precedent of that is insane. Like, YouTube cannot allow this to go unpunished because, well, like, what, what is this the new norm now? You just go dox someone you're beefing with? Yeah, I mean, it's so dangerous. Like, you don't know what that could lead to, but very dangerous stuff could happen. Dude, it's such, such a violation of privacy, man. It's not even funny. But, um, so going into how this all went down and the aftermath of all this, YouTube actually tweeted this out, which is kind of a poor timing. They said, would it be too meta to do a reaction video to a reaction video? Mm -hmm. They tweeted this out on the 18th, two days ago. First of all, what a dumb tweet. Yeah, like, what is yeah you're the tweet? first person that ever fucking thought of that. <laughs> Jack actually made a joke video about that like 10 years ago. Right, morons. That, this is like 10 years ago. Yeah. Oh. Come on, YouTube. Uh, he got hit with the community notes, by the way. <laughs> uh, for additional context, it needs to be known that this tweet was written in the wake of a controversy regarding a reaction YouTuber, Sniper Wolf, who recently oh. leaked the personal information of a fellow creator on the platform, Jack's Film. So that's, that is helpful. I'll rate that. You really crossed the line. <laughs> that is helpful. Submit. Thank you. Um, so again, YouTube just kind of missing the point. As always. Philly D, friend of the show, great guy. 
fair, always coverage, over, always covers our stories fairly and accurately. He said of this tweet, "Just a silly, silly, fun goof." Y'all should react to this video. Mm -hmm. So true, so true that is. Well tweeted by uh, <laughs> Philip DeFranco. Great tweet. Prolific hiker, mountains mm -hmm. man. Mm -hmm. Cold mountain hiker. <laughs> so now, but now that people are getting more and more and more angry, people have started to sift through her old controversies, which often happens when people, you know, come under mm -hmm. the, the microscope. There's some pretty wild stuff in here, I, I gotta say. Um, here's an omegle of her offering to show an underage boy her boobs if she, if they twerked for her. Whoa. Which is like, by today's standard, that's like crazy. Do we know what year this is from? Guys, you uh, you really got me put showing drama alert. <laughs> Alright. Shut up, the, shut they up, got the scoop. Alert. They got the yellow set. Uh, I, I, I looked for another source. Uh, but that's Wow. That's the one. Shout out drama alert. Shout out drama alert. Um, Sniper Wolf accused of commercial commercial sexualization <laughs> of minors. Wait, what does that mean? It's not doing like sex training. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> what the fuck? You don't have to make it sound worse than it is. It's already pretty bad. Right. What a moron. In the video, she asked young looking individuals to twerk. She has since allegedly privated the video. What do you mean allegedly? Did she private it or not, dummy? <laughs> they don't want to do any research. It's like allegedly, I don't fucking know. It's like, I don't know. Just go look. I have like literally a three man crew on this stuff. Yeah, I can Whoa. tell. Damn. So he I says, do you the think these individuals are underage? So I suppose the age is unknown, but let's take a look. I mean, yeah, those kids are definitely under 18 by the look of it. So here's the chat. I'll type it. Uh, 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 <laughs> she wrote, twerk for me. Come on. I'll show tits. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, those kids are young. Oh, he's young. real young. Those kids Whoa. are super yeah. young. Mm -hmm. Like they're 14, 15 maybe? I'm pretty old. young to me. Do I don't know. Let's just have a seat right over there, please. I Why do you want to see them twerk? I would guess 14. Yeah, they look right down there. Oh. Was she a creator at this time? What is this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's doing like a video, a yeah. makeup video. Ooh. And they don't know they're being recorded either. To add to the okay. layer. Mm. All right. So no uh, cookies for you. So she says, "Talk for me, I'll show tits." <laughs> I love a big ass. She said. Twerk. Yeah, let's go. No, come on, let's do it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Keemstar blurred it out. Thank you, Keemstar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so that was working. fucking awesome. Yeah. Let's get the little guy, too. I wanted to see the little guy. Okay. Uh-uh. Don't like the way you said that. Yeah. No good. No boy, no. No. Come on. Both of you. Just twerk together. Do it together. Oh, I can't see. Move the camera. What kind of content Just a little is bit. This? I couldn't see. Oh yeah, yeah, you're really good at it. <laughs> yeah, let me see the other guy do it. Yeah, see the little guy. Oh, someone came oh, in. Oh shit, your mom's mom? here. Oh no, is that is that mom? <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Get your mom in here. Let her trick too. Yeah, yeah, your son's doing all this for tits. <laughs> That's pretty weird. It's pretty just horrible. Just really gross. Like just really bad sense of uh everything. Everything. It's upside down. It's upside down. She does seem to be based on her interactions with Jack. And obviously doxing him on purses. A really nasty person. Just a mean-spirited, real nasty. Uh, you know what I mean? But that's not the only thing. That's just one. There's uh, three. Another one here is she's asking a 16-year-old girl, allegedly 16, to flash her. So, what is, why are you? What, what is, oh, yeah. Why? Oh, yeah. This one was really weird. I, I saw this one. 
re this is just a chat log. It's a picture of this girl says she's 16 and she, she's there looking like about to lift her top. It looks mm. like. In fact, I'd be wouldn't be. Yeah, she does it. She does do but, it. But the thing, there is a little bit of a wrinkle in this. That person in the top is one of those bots trying to make other people do it. It's not that girl. How do you know? It makes sense if you watch the whole video. Mm. Um, You're alleging that. Are you alleging that? I guess I'm alleging that. <laughs> <laughs> I got gotcha. you. No, I mean, I, Yo, bro, the, I'm at this high school girl that. Yeah, I, I see what you mean. Yeah. That, that this was like some sex bot that's like yeah, Omegle exactly. or whatever that she's yeah. interacting with. Okay, well Dude, then I've that one's. I've heard the craziest stories from Omegle. Mm. People who would like jerk off on there and then and then they they record it and blackmail them. Uh. And then the other thing is they can replace the camera. So this one, I heard this one guy was getting being blackmailed, and they said, "Pay us, or we're gonna send this to everyone you know." And they're gonna change the picture of like an adult woman he was talking with at the time to a child, a young boy. Oh, oh my, my god. god. So I think oh. that is literally like a blackmail bot. Yeah. So yeah. this might have been one I of those. I don't think it was a bot. I think they're real people. There's wow. pe real people chatting, but the video is not the person like, chatting. Like so fucked right. up, mm. man. That happened to uh, a friend of mine who was literally the nicest guy. And you know, he just, <laughs> I don't know. He's not on his luck. He hasn't. He hasn't ever dated anyone. He fell for this scam, and literally, like his parents called all of us, all of his friends, and said, like, he's on like suicide watch. Like, we gotta keep an eye out on him because oh it was so bad. Wow. They they added all his parents' friends on Facebook. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's so oh so cruel. The thing is, like, it's gross to. I mean, the thing is, at the time, they're doing it with another consenting adult. They think. They think. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Was this no, website like? All like, bad news, I feel like. Uh, back like, then, it's just it was like, pretty nuts. I think it's still open, but at least they they have one for like showing dick and one for not. <laughs> I think like two. Really? <laughs> There's two tiers. Although I, we we did a thing with your mom on Omegle uh, on families once. Do you remember? And she saw dick. Right. Oh, yeah. That did end up happening. <laughs> right. I feel like that's the only thing that happens on there. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> I mean, if you're going there, you're expecting it. Yeah. One way or the other. Anyway, here's the chat. Amazing. Um. Hey, how are you? Sixteen. You nice. So the the stranger is the girl texting to her. Right. Yeah. You see at the top it says stranger maybe using a simulated webcam. I think that's maybe the tell that there's oh. something fishy going on. Hmm. Uh, bye. Your mic is off. Cut. Nice. I can now. You're sexy. Want to show each other our boobs? Want me to show? You first, uh, she said. So do you think that this wasn't... This was her just fucking with the robot? I mean, now... yeah. I mean, I thought it was confirmed, but now I don't have the source to that. But I, I thought when I watched it, it was confirmed. Okay. But I can't look into Fair it. Fair enough. They should throw her... I mean, who's the chair. girl? Some. This is a real girl who's showing her... Yeah, her that's breath. the yeah. Someone's using her picture for sure. That's also. So I don't know up. who that is, uh, but okay. Uh, Sniper Wolf's actively deleting and incriminating videos off her channel as they are discovered. Allegedly, uh, that's not yeah. surprising. I mean, you know, Sniper Wolf's actively deleting and incriminating videos, just further proving that every day YouTube doesn't act. They are actively allowing her to erase evidence from her channel. They are complicit. <laughs> Takedown tracker, oh my god. Girl uh -huh. on Omega taken down. Ask Wolf, new COD, nails, craziest thing on Omega. It's just two. But um, anyway, so uh, YouTube finally updated us. They made a statement. They said, <clears throat> we are confirming that Sniper Wolf has received a temporary monetization suspension per creator responsibility policies. I'm assuming that's probably like two weeks. Something like that. From yeah. what I've seen, maybe even a week. I don't know. They said off platform actions that put others' personal safety at risk uh, harm our community and the behavior on both sides isn't what we want on YouTube. Hoping everyone helps move this convo to a better place. They both sides. Yeah. Both sides at it. Which is yeah. fucking lame.
Like one person definitely. I feel like that wasn't necessary. I know what happened though, because I've been through this with Keemstar. Right. Where they were like, you need to stop making videos about him. Is they consider it bullying? You want this Keemstar? Because he, he goes to YouTube and bitches and cries and exaggerates and hyperbole and gives him his whole side. Mm -hmm. Which he did. I don't know if you guys remember how much he cried to YouTube that I was bullying him. Which is uh, kind of true. Wait, so he, you're saying YouTube told you to stop making videos During the about content Keemstar. nuke, yeah. But that doesn't make any sense Ride because you yeah. are friends with the CEO and control <laughs> YouTube and all you have to do is make a phone call and get people banned. That's what I've heard online. Bro, I can't even get someone to t review one of my podcasts. It's been like <laughs> seven <laughs> fucking days. Yeah. There's been a podcast under Review Yellow. Oh, wow. That doesn't make sense to me. If I can't get a review, then like, who can? <sighs> so also, I run a business here. <laughs> yeah. Seven days. Anyway, yeah, so they both sides did. Wonderful people on both sides. Thank you. <laughs> Which is kind of fucked. I had a feeling they were going to do that, though. They were going to tell him, you need to chill on the, on the videos. And he did. It's been seven days he hasn't posted. Which is a shame, because that, that channel was turning into a dynamo. It was hitting. Getting good it was good content. It was good content. It was good. <laughs> like... That's annoying, bro. Yeah. Well right, said. Thanks. Well said. Uh, furthermore, Sniper Wolf put out an apology. Again, I think this was probably compelled by YouTube. And here's the thing. So what I think happened behind the scenes was Leah Sniper Wolf was complaining and crying. She has deep connections to YouTube, it seems like. Or at least, <clears throat> I don't want to say anything mean to the people that work there, but she has people that listen to her. And so she, I'm sure, uh, uh, allegedly, I'm sure, <laughs> that she's been bitching behind the scenes nonstop about being harassed. And that's probably the first YouTube heard about this, is mm -hmm. from her being like, I'm being harassed by this guy. She said, Let me start by saying I'm sorry for my recent actions. It's inexcusable. Dude, the way that she like, per she was like, I don't care. Fuck you. Yeah. Yeah. You posted your own address online, remember? Just Google Jack's Film's home address. Amazing. She said, I'm sorry to Jack Film, YouTube, and the entire creator community. She's apologizing to us. And my incredible fans for not being a better example for appropriate conflict resolution. Wait, what? My incredible fans are not, not... She's apologizing to her fans. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. She's sorry to Jack, to YouTube, and her incredible fans. I'm really... Jack I Sims, while we certainly don't see eye to eye and have our differences, I'm sorry for reacting the way I did when I should have taken the opportunity to show young creators how adults and professionals resolve conflict by commuting direct- This was chat GBT written, bro. <laughs> <laughs> by communicating directly, respectfully, and privately, not for views or content, but a meaningful example of how conflict should be resolved. What the fuck is this? Amazing. I will reach out directly and hope we can find some time to connect and communicate respectfully. I'd also like to thank YouTube for holding me accountable. <laughs> <laughs> and most of all, I want to thank YouTube. Who demonetized me for two weeks. And I'm so glad they did that. I deserved it. I deserve it. Respect the decision and appropriate. Appreciate the opportunity to learn and grow from a true lapse in judgment. It's almost like the fact that she's she's over owning it. She's like <laughs> over it, it's it strikes me as disingenuous just because it's so over the top. Right. TALK ABOUT THE ALLEGATIONS! But who knows, maybe she is uh, genuinely uh, apologetic. Not much evidence, though, to support that, <laughs> other than this tweet. So, actually- So we think the apology is a little too good. I fucking- I, It's I, too, I, I, like, I, I, I- It's like this. I come before you, <laughs> a guilty person. <laughs> Everything you've heard about me is true. And worse. YouTube, most of all, I want to thank for holding me accountable for my terrible crimes, which I wish I could go back and undo. I've had a severe... It's like, it's like... It's, you know what I mean? Something I'm curious about 
is like, I'm actually surprised that she got in trouble at all because, as we know, YouTube likes to take a super hands-off approach with it, actions that happen not on the platform. Um, the doxing happened on Instagram. Yeah, they had they had. Did she a, get in trouble on Instagram? Like, no, can you dox doesn't. people on Instagram? Like, no. shouldn't that be an issue? It should be, but for no. her account, Zuck doesn't care. Crazy. But YouTube has a uh, policy that they added. This is the one they cited where yeah. like the they, conduct thing or whatever. They added right? it during a really. What was it? Was it? Was it the Shane thing or it was some big controversy where they did something super fucked up but not on YouTube? What was it? Was it Alex Jones? No. No. What a loving liberal. No, but <laughs> the chat might know. Once, well, anyway, uh, once it gets out there. Yeah. So and they. So what if there was? They have this rule about the, whatever off-platform, behavior. So there it is. Let me click his name and see what's popping over here. Uh, careful with the. With that back there. Ah, <sighs> let's see. Oh, they're showing old tweets of Jax. It says, what is this with Twitter? They go, Jax film is trending. I click it and it's showing Jack film tweets from October 13th. How is that helpful? Yeah, it's Thank pretty you. bad over there these days. Here's another one from October 13th. October 13th. October 17th. That's three days ago. Holy shit. If he's trending, show me the new tweets, man. October 13th. I haven't even seen a new tweet yet. Here, five hours. This is from... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did they tag the wrong person? No, I think this is a... Struggles Films. I think I this what? person is not the real Jack. It's just making a joke. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, there it is. That's There's your new tweet. Yeah. Somebody said it was uh, the Onision guy, maybe? Maybe. Yeah, Onision. Yeah, it could have been Onision. Could have been him. That shit was crazy and wild. Thought it was a bigger one than that, though. Uh, anyway, so. There it and is. And then I had a hard time the rest of the week. <laughs> so justice <laughs> has been served. I guess you <laughs> might say that. Some form of justice. Yeah. Um. I hope Jack can find a way to keep that channel going just because it's such a good thing he's got there. Yeah, I do wonder if they told him he's got to put the kibosh on it. The reason I say that is just because they told me the same shit. Right. And I made three videos. Three well, you know, source, professional. Yeah. Professional. You know what I mean? Like, they're not just talking shit. You know, there's work there. <laughs> You're a professional hater. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I take my job very seriously. <laughs> All right. Well, that's about it. That's it. Okay, Ethan. Hold on. There is one thing I wanted to say about at Gaza. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I got <laughs> good I'm one. <laughs> got him. Good, good, good. I'm so, um, if we're getting to the end of the show, yeah. Just uh, wanted to give a reminder that uh, we have uh, Pokemon coming in next week. Wait, is that Halloween week? Oh my huh? god. Is that Halloween week next week? Or no, it's not. So uh, Halloween is on t a Tuesday. So no, not next week. It's the following Tuesday, which is... Got it. T Tuesday might be the worst day for Halloween to be yeah. on. Yeah. It happens, man. So yeah. Monday will be the Halloween show. So yeah, Monday will be our Halloween episode uh, that everybody can look forward to. And, uh, and we might have a real spicy guest on Leftovers next week, too. But... Um, Everyone knows. Hmm? It's Vivek. Everyone knows. But we'll uh, see if he confirms. We'll see. I think. I think it's. I think it's looking good. Mm. Okay. Cool. Well, damn. Like I said, I got to do a lot of prep. <laughs> um, also, <clears throat> the director's cut of Infrabrand video is up on the, the director's channel. director's cut. <clears throat> right. It's just the extended. Which is basically footage. just the raw footage. Yeah. Infrabrand. Some extra it, stuff. Universe. Gonna spam it in the shot. <laughs> I don't know, Vivek. It's going to be interesting. Vivek? Vivek? Vivek. Vivek like cake. Vivek. Is how uh, Vivek. I remember it. Vivek. Yeah. 
Vivek. So you have a week to practice that. Vivek, <laughs> I got it. I got you got it. it. Vivek. You got it. <laughs> Vivek. So that would be interesting. I like when we're getting more, like, it's, it's pretty cool that we're getting, like, you know, serious political mm -hmm. people. Talking. There's, a, there's another guest we're working on for Leftovers that I am thrilled about. But Send more updates on that as, uh, as they come along. Then Discord? Everybody knows that. Oh yeah, that would be fucking awesome. <laughs> That's have we made have we made contact? Uh, not yet, but it's we're working. We'll on talk it. about. I believe in it. We're I, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm manifesting it. <laughs> I'm manifesting it. I'm All deep right. undercover. All right, everybody, <laughs> listen. That's the week. That's it. It's been That's a good it. one. It's been a crazy one, a heavy one. Yeah. Tears, laughter, emotions. It's all dumb. It's all happening here at the H3 Podcast. Nobody does it like us. Four, five days a week, if you include the member stream. Mm -hmm. People can't, they can't keep up. And yet here I still am. Can't get somebody to review my fucking monetization. <laughs> it's so good. Thank you to all the members. Thank you to everybody who's watching. I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. And we will be back. Uh, next week with another a great week of shows. So thank you, and we'll see you then. Thanks for watching.